Hey, you wanted to talk to me? Oh, yes. Um, have a seat. You're not in trouble or anything. I just wanted to chat really quickly because I just finished grading the quizzes from last oh, week. No. Let me see. Where are you? And I wanted to show you your score. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. No, I know. I saw that and I was like, what? I, I couldn't believe that it was you. But you know what? This kind of stuff happens. I know you do well in this class, so that's why I wanted to talk to you. And just, you know, was it the material that was difficult or were you not really able to study? I just didn't have time to study because my grandpa's in the hospital, so my mom and oh. dad have been at the hospital with yeah. him, and I had to take care of my brother that makes all sense. week. That's fair. And you know what? If that ever happens in the future, you can always talk to me about that. <laughs> you know, if, if you need a little bit of extra time or if you want to stay after class, you know, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, no, of course. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see the score. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this on the opposite side of my desk and I'm gonna send you home with another test. It's gonna be the same material, but it's just gonna be different questions. Okay. And since you'll be at home, you can use the book. Uh, if you need to ask a friend, you can always ask me. I'd be more than happy to help you with it. And um, let's see, it's Wednesday. Do you think you'll be able to finish by Friday? Yes. Perfect. And you know what? I'm not gonna put this score in the system yet. I'm gonna wait until you give me your new test on Friday and we'll use that score in place of this one. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, no, of course. So what are you doing tonight? I was gonna hang out with Rachel tonight. Ew, why? Excuse me? I mean, me? sorry, no offense. I know you're friends with her. Yeah. Did you guys hang out last weekend? I mean, yeah. What's wrong with that? I don't know. That just seems like really like toxically close what? right like you guys are always hanging out it's not like, like that. you have time for your other friends like you literally stayed at my house all last week i, I know but no nothing it's just like i've seen her tiktoks and they're just really awkward so i mean have fun okay <laughs> with that but no it's fine i'm like if you have someone else you have to hang out with i mean i usually have to like suffer by myself anyway oh my so. god it's not like that no, no it's fine seriously clearly I'm not used to it no seriously it's fine you know you're welcome to hang out with us no that's really weird. I feel like the third wheel, like I'm invading in on your like play date or whatever you're having. What? No, because like those friends have a problem with me and I don't know what I did to them, but like they're always giving me the weirdest looks. That's really weird because they say the same thing about you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just looking. Can't you guys hang out like next month? So are we good? Hello? Don't be surprised if you don't see me tomorrow. What the hell does that mean? Oh, um, I'm probably just going to be planning a trip with... um. Alyssa tonight so oh you plan a trip that fast um we're gonna figure it out and we're probably gonna do our own thing so you don't need to worry about we it we could all hang out together it's fine. no okay well I hope you have a good time yeah no we will especially because Alyssa moved states three months ago uh, that that's not the Alyssa I was talking about so. oh okay <laughs> oh my god I forgot my wallet again you can cover me right wait what's wrong no no, no tell me no you can tell me was it Alan? Oh, <gasps> what did he do? Wait, was it me? No, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay, I literally say the dumbest things half the time. I don't even realize that I upset people. So you just, you have to tell me. What did I do? <laughs> Wait, who said that? Okay, this is, this is so out of context. It's like crazy. Um, what I said was you didn't deserve that promotion because you deserved one way better. Like the raise you got, like you deserved so much more than that. So it was actually a compliment. This is such high school shit, right? I'm talking about you behind your back. Like, come on, we're adults, right? Like I can have a conversation as an adult in the workplace without it being like gossip. Okay, but I feel like you're punishing me for being honest with you. Would you rather me have lied to you? You have to grow up. At some point, you have to understand that like people talk about you. That's just how it works. No, because now I feel really embarrassed that you're all upset and now I feel like everyone here hates me and that's absolutely unfair because I'm, <sighs> whatever. I mean, have fun with that kind of mentality for the rest of your life because you're not gonna have any friends and would you like to hold her? Oh, no, it's okay. No, really, take her. No, 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 no. Um, just, I, I wouldn't know how to hold her. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Just do what feels natural. But what if it tries to throw up on me? She is not gonna throw up on you. But what if I drop it? You're not gonna drop her. Here, I'll help you. No, really, yes. no. Yes, I... it's okay. Just put her okay. in your arms. Um, you okay? Uh-huh. Are you sure? Because you're completely frozen. I'm scared. Well, how about you try rocking her? Okay. Ugh. I feel like you should just take her. No, 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 just relax. <sighs> What's it doing? She's sleeping. Oh, well, I like to sleep too. Right? Aren't they so sweet? Maybe you can- Oh, it's waking up, take it. Ooh, I think she needs a diaper change. Oh, I know, that's why I gave her back to you. And then like four people showed up and we were like- Everything okay? Uh, uh just hold on. <sighs> what happened? Nothing. Nothing. What? No, we're good. 
I don't know. Do you think we should leave it like eight or nine? Um, yeah, that's fine. What does that mean? Are you sure everything's okay? No, 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 no. Good. Are you crying? <laughs> no, hi <laughs> guys. No, I'm good. So then my dad. Whose toe like, does this look like? What? I don't know. Madison's. Why would I know that? Anne Marie just told me it looked like Madison's toe. Do you guys want to drive by Grayson's house? No. Just like real quick. It's like on the way. Not even close. No, just like we'll just. And take... honestly, that's really creepy and weird. Well, I just need to. I need to check something. Your freckles. Are you good? Uh, no, everything's fine. But I heard screaming. <laughs> We're good. Just one second, okay? Oh my god! Stop it. Three, three times. Are you gonna come hang out? I'm coming. You've been out there an hour. Stop it. I don't wear Maybelline eyelashes. Do I wear Maybelline eyelashes? L Lindsay, do I wear Maybelline eyelashes? I don't know. No, she said no. Whoa. What the hell was that? Whoa. I'm fine. No, everything's fine. No, I'm good. I'm probably gonna head out. Yeah, but it was me so too. Nice seeing you guys. It was so fun. Hey guys. Hi. Uh, hey. You're what? here. What? No, nothing. I, I just am surprised you're here. What are you talking about? You invited me. I know, but I, I didn't think you were actually coming. <laughs> no, I know. I texted you that I was on my way. Girl, that was four hours ago. I mean, I just had to stop and get gas really quick, and then I had to get coffee, but I told you I was on my way. I know, but you live right down the street. Yeah, well, then my mom asked me. She texted me and was like, can you stop at Target? So I did, and then I saw my old teacher there, so I had to, like, say hi. It was a whole thing. It ended up taking, like, way longer than I wanted, but yeah, no, I... I mean, I hear you, but we were actually about to head out. Yeah, I gotta go. Well, you guys can't stick around for like a little bit longer i just got here i mean do you guys still want to get lunch lunch no sorry no, it's no. like five o'clock right now i mean we could still it could be like a really late lunch no sorry we got chilies earlier without me you guys didn't wait you're kidding right you could have texted me and said that you were going i texted you three times and called you well okay um i mean i just got here was everyone really gonna leave well we've been hanging out for like five hours so it's good yeah enough. i gotta go it's not that late and wasn't janelle gonna tell us about a new friend yeah that's one of the things we talked about at lunch guys you did everything without me what the heck you were four hours late bitch honey what What's wrong? Why do you get so emotional during these movies? I don't know, because I have empathy. Sweetheart, that's enough of the negative self-talk. What? You can just say that you're sad. You don't need to use these little mental health terms to describe things that aren't you. What do you mean? The self-diagnosing, the empileptic, empathy, no, 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 no. I just think this new generation feels like they need to be something by fitting into these mental health categories and it's just unhealthy. Empathy is not a mental health problem. It's not even a problem at all. Well, then I'm not sure why you're bringing it up. Because you asked me why I was upset and I was feeling empathetic towards the people in the situation right now. Sweetheart, you're not pathetic. No, mom. You are a wonderful, special girl. Thanks, mom. Now stop crying, it's making me uncomfortable. Hey, how's the game? Well, the safety point just punted a fumble on the 40-yard touchline and gave him a 30-second flag against the kickoff Josh oh. Allen. Four penalties until halftime, and they can't even pass the defensive yard without yeah. Jalen Hurts intercepting the extra point. They're never going to line back the tackle with a minute left in the receiver zone. Okay. He just punted a six-yard tackle over the field line to penetrate the offensive point on the sideline with no <sighs> end zones. 14-76, to 76, and okay. they run Travis Kelsey a flag um. in the wide end, and they give the quarterback a kick to the touchdown for a point to Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Is that when they throw it? No, that's when they run a defensive penalty, oh. but only for 20 seconds. Okay. And look, that's when Devontae Adams runs a blitz for the 80-yard pass the ref. Right. Uh-huh. But no flag. The we just got to reach down. the extra point. Oh. Okay. No, touch line. And the Raiders need a new semi-pro passing offense or they're going to lose. I'm sorry? No, 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 no. That's a good thing. They're on a 12-0 champion interception. Okay. And Notre Dame just suspended the Aaron Rodgers draft in Is time for the- Is playing at the halftime show? What? No, that's just for the Super Playoffs. I don't know. I thought, I thought there was a- a concert. You're making any sense. Oh. Can I please have the chicken quesadilla? Chicken quesadilla? Sure. Yeah, and can I possibly do that with no tomato? Okay. Yeah, sorry. And can I do it with a spinach wrap? Sure. Let me see if we have any of that. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just have it the way it is. I've already documented the inconvenience, so it's fine. I'll go put in your order. Can I get the chicken quesadilla wrap but with no tomato? Sure. And can I do that with a spinach wrap? Sure. Are, are you mad? What? Are we ready to order? Yes, I will take the filet mignon. Great choice. What about you? Uh, yes, I will have the chicken de tendars. I'm sorry, the what? 
Uh, that was the the shigong, the the tendars. Am I saying that right? Chicken tenders? Oh, is that how you pronounce it? I've always just said it the other way. Yeah, well, that's not right. Okay, I'll just take that then. Great. And what did you want to do as a side? Uh, just the uh, puree de pomme de terre. Oh my god. What? The the puree, the mashed potatoes. Just mashed potatoes. Okay. Why? Want to get something to eat? Yes. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Oh, can we do Chipotle? Mm, nah. No, I don't really like Chipotle. We should do Moe's. Yes, let's do Moe's. Moe's is way better. Are you good with Moe's? What? I said, are you good with Moe's? Okay. Um, are you sure? We could do something else. Yeah, it's fine. Are you sure everything's okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do you want some? No, I don't want any. I thought no. you were hungry. I don't like tacos. You just wanted Chipotle. Yeah, but I I don't like that kind. But No, I'm good. Seriously. Why is she just standing there? I don't know. I think she's mad at us. We didn't even do anything. I don't know, but how awesome are these burritos? <sighs> Um, are you sure you're good? No, I'm fine. Did you want to sit with us? No, it's fine. I don't know. I think she's mad. What? Are you mad at us? I'm fine. Gosh, you know that little voice inside your head? No. What? Yes, you do. You know, like if you're thinking to yourself, you just hear that little voice just talking to you. You hear voices inside your head? Well, yeah. I mean, it's my own voice, but I, I can hear it. You don't hear anything? No. So when it's quiet and you're thinking to yourself, you don't hear your own voice? No. So you're telling me you have no internal dialogue? You're telling me that your mind talks to you? Yeah, I mean, it talks to me, it talks to itself. In fact, it argues with me and itself, and it's just a constant chitter chatter and noise, and now I feel like I'm the crazy one when you don't have internal dialogue. Weird. No, it's totally normal. People hear themselves talk all the time. Oh, shut up. No, I didn't say that. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Will you please just leave me alone? It was so good to see yeah, you. Yeah, oh my god, you too. Wait, you still want to do lunch next week, right? Definitely. Uh, okay, good. All right, I'll talk to you later. Yep, talk to you Bye. later. Bye, see ya. Bye. It was nice to see you. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Wait, haven't you guys met before? Shh. I think she um, forgot who you were. <laughs> probably because you're so boring. How's that homework coming? Um, awful. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh-oh. What are you working on? Stupid math. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't done this in a while. Okay, so you move the four under the seven. No, you're supposed to divide it by the fraction first. Oh, okay. Well, that's just always how I learned it. So that's what they said to do in class. Yeah. And I mean, that's what the book says. I'm just following the formula. Okay. Well, just do it the way that you learned. Okay. There's no need to get upset. Let's see. So we're supposed to move the three that's in the parentheses over and convert it into a decimal, right? No, I don't think no. so. Okay. Um, well, let's just uh, read the directions again. What does it say? It says use the formula to solve the problem. Okay. So just do that. But I keep getting it wrong every time I do that. Well, I don't, didn't you learn this in class today? Yes. I don't understand why you all of a sudden have no idea how to do this. It's hard. Well, then how would you have done it? Because that's what the example is saying. No, the example is saying to use multiplication, but you're saying to no, add. I don't think, no. No, no, no. You're supposed to put that into the decimal. No, you're just supposed to multiply. I don't, I don't understand how you're getting that. <sighs> Sam, can you come in here, please? 14 and a half goes into the number three how many times? Steve! Okay, but what do we do here? I don't know. What? I don't know, I'm asking you. Steve, what? Can you help us in here, please? No, he gets mad. It's fine. What's the problem? Okay, so she's having an issue here. We need to convert this. No, we're not converting no. anything. We just need to use the formula. Okay, well, she's trying to, we're trying to figure out this problem. Can you help, please? This is just basic multiplication. See, that's what I was trying to tell you. Okay, but every time I do it like that, I get it wrong. Because you're doing it wrong. Did you go to class today? I, I don't understand how you don't know how to do any of this. Mom, everyone in class was confused. I wasn't asking about other students. I'm asking about you. Why, why don't you know how to do it? 17 and a half times B plus equals C. Do you know how much we're paying for this private school? No, you don't. And you don't appreciate it. And that's the that's problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. You can't even do a simple sorry. math problem. I don't understand why you guys hate me so because much. Because you can't do oh, math. come back. No. Come back, please. Okay. One plus four. At this time, we'd like to welcome our priority flyers to begin boarding. Hello. Good morning. Oh my god. This is my child. There's no way. So can we get on the plane now? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I, I don't even understand how you got through security. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, but I, I can't let this dog board as a passenger. But it's my child. I'm sorry, but it's considered an animal to the airport. Children are people too. Okay, but dogs aren't. Need some backup over here? Do you mind just stepping off to the side? Come on, dog. See? You just said it was a dog. That's his name. Well, isn't that a bit confusing considering it looks like a dog and is a dog and is named dog? I don't want to be late to my appointment. I'm going to have you talk to my supervisor. Hello. They're not here yet. Okay. Good afternoon. Okay, thank you. 
escape security. Hi, are you gonna order? Uh, yeah, we're ready to put in our drink order. Okay. Uh, yeah, can I get an ice water? Are you sure? Uh, yes, I, I'm definitely sure. As cold as you can make it. Did you also want the check? Not yet, just the drink, please. Whatever. And that's it. Okay, I'll put in your order later. I'll do it now. <laughs> Maybe it's her first day or something. Okay, one ice water. Um, what is this? Water. Why did you give me this? It's hard as rock. It's ice. Yeah, but I can't even drink this. Is this a joke? It's what you ordered. I even wrote it down. Ice. Okay, you know what? It's after five anyway, so why don't you just bring me a margarita? A margaret Rita? No, a margarita? It's like your signature drink here. No, thank you. I don't even know you. I don't want your signature. That's, a, you, okay, just the classic margarita, please. Do you want it frozen? No, let's just not do that again. I'll do it on the rocks this time. Are you sure? Yes. Your order overwhelmed me. I need to go on break. Okay, am I being confusing? Because I feel like this is pretty straightforward. One margarita on the rocks. You're fucking kidding me, right? Jokes are for clowns. There are literal rocks in my drink. It's what you ordered. I wrote it down. Where did you even get these from? They look like they still have dirt on them. My purse. I'm I'm leaving. Don't forget to leave me a tip. <sighs> okay, my shift's over now. Goodbye. Hi, I'm picking up an order. Perfect, what was the name? Rebecca. Okay, I don't have an order up here, but let me go check with the kitchen. Sure, take your time. Hey, are there any to-go orders ready back here? No, we haven't had a to-go order in a couple hours. That's weird, I have a Rebecca saying that she's trying to pick up an order. Uh, wait, here it is. Awesome. Uh, it looks like somebody marked this as complete, but it wasn't made. Are you serious? She's here, ready to pick up the order. Yep, and this is a large order too. Oh my god, she's gonna be so mad. Sorry, we'll prioritize it. Okay, no problem, I'll, I'll handle it. Shit. Hi. Hi there. So, unfortunately, there was a problem with your order and the kitchen is gonna start making it now. Oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. Can I offer you a beverage or a free appetizer or something? Oh, no, no, sweetheart. <laughs> it's okay. I've worked in a restaurant before. I get it. Things happen. Actually, you know what? I have some errands I have to run. It'll be way easier for me to pick it up later, so I'll come back. Oh my gosh, are you sure? I, I feel so terrible. I'm so sorry. Honey, don't be sorry. We're human. Okay, it's not your fault. I'll be back. <sighs> sorry, I felt like I couldn't breathe for a second, but thank you. I, I'll see you soon. It'll be ready. It's all good. Party of 17. What? Hi, party of 17. Oh, um, okay, did you have a reservation? No, of course not. We wanna eat. Party of 17. That's okay, I actually have room. I'll just need like five minutes to put a table together. <laughs> five minutes? Yep, I'll be really quick. <laughs> did you hear that? What are we supposed to do? Just all stand here for five entire minutes? Yeah, unbelievable. Impatient. Hi, could I see a menu? Yeah, of course. Is this place good? Of course, it's very good. Mm hmm Just let me know if you have any questions. Oh, I'm good. What's good here? Well, we're actually famous for our three-layer mac and cheeseburger right on the front there, but my personal favorite are the chicken fajitas, and you gotta try the chocolate brownie. Mm. Well, we have kind of a big list there. Do you know what you're in the mood for? Mm-mm. Well, I know it's a lot, so just let me know if you have any questions. Could I just get like a soup? Yeah, of course, we have some options on the menu. Did you want me to get you a table? Oh, no. Well, you can put in a to-go order if you'd like. Well, can't they bring it out for me to taste it? Okay, yeah, uh, let me get you a table. No, 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 I just want a quick taste. Oh, uh, well, unfortunately I can't do that in this front area. Is there an area I can go to taste it? At, at a table. I just don't want to do the whole sit down thing. I just want a few tastes. I hear you, we just don't have a designated soup tasting area. Oh, okay. Was there anything else I could do for you? <sighs> no. Okay. Uh, hi there, welcome in. <sighs> Picking up. Um, uh, yeah, what was the name for the pickup order? To go. Right, sorry, no, what's your name so I can find your order? What the hell is happening today? I have a reservation. Okay, so you're not picking up an order? <laughs> what, what, what? My pickup appointment is late. It's at eight. <laughs> I hate this job. Thank you for calling the doctor's office. What do you want? Um, hi, I just wanted to make a doctor's appointment. <sighs> Um, so I was wondering, okay, is this an emergency? Oh, no, it's just I have this cough that hasn't gone away in a couple weeks, so I just wanted to talk to a doctor. Okay, when are you available to come in? Oh, anytime. Does the 18th sound okay? Uh, yeah, so next Monday? No, 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 I'm sorry, next year. So January 18th? 
That would be December 2024. I can do a 9 a.m. I'm sorry, you can't see me about a cough until a year from now? I can check again. Okay, thank you. I just, I kind of need to see someone a little bit sooner. I thought you said it wasn't an emergency. Well, yeah, it's not an emergency, but... Oh, you know what? It looks like I have something next Friday. Oh, well then I'll definitely take that, whatever time. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. We don't have anything available. That's absolutely insane. Did you still want to do the 18th? No, that's not going to help me yet. You know what? I'm just going to find someone else. Will you give us a call if you change your mind? And just out of curiosity, if this was an emergency, when would I be able to get in? Yesterday. I don't even understand that answer. I could get you in for blood work at 7 a.m. tomorrow. What's the point of getting the blood work done if I can't see the doctor to talk about the results? Goodbye. So you're the new girl? I'm the what? The new server? Yes. Okay, great. Well, you're shadowing me today. Oh, okay, sorry, but no thank you. Cool. Well, <laughs> the manager told me I have to show you around, so let's start in the back. I only go forward, not back. I'm at the back of the restaurant. Have you ever worked in a restaurant before? Um... Is that a no? <sighs> when do I get paid? Uh, when you clock in, which I haven't been able to show you how to do yet. What day? We get paid on Fridays. Okay, well, unfortunately I won't be available. Great, well, it goes directly to your bank account, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. I can do Saturday. Girl, I am not in charge of payroll. I'm just here to show you around today, so let's at least get you clocked in. I've got a clock, thank you. Great, well, I'm just going to clock in for you because this is weird. And what did you say your name was? Hello? Hi, how are you? Were you looking something? My paycheck. Yeah, well, you're not gonna get it because you haven't done anything yet. Thank you for coming in, have a nice day. Whoa, okay. Well, how about I give you the menu to study and you can take this home and decide if you really want this job. Okay. I'll have the tacos. Are you really trying to put in an order? We don't even have tacos. With BBQ sauce, hold the second B. <sighs> I'd also like my paycheck. Yeah, when was your next shift? Unfortunately, I quit yesterday. Happy New Year. Happy... What? We should play Never Have I Ever. No. Yes. Yes. No, seriously, guys, I can't play. What? I can't. I always lose every single time. Okay, I'll do 10 and you guys do 5 or else I'll be out right away. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Never have I ever lied about taking birth control. Ugh, that's not fair. The first one. Oh, never have I ever cheated. Stop. You guys are trying to get me out. Seriously. Never have I ever lied to a friend. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? No, we're not allowed to ask questions. That's the point of the game. You can't ask questions. Never have I ever hooked up with a friend's ex. <sighs> Did you see I put a finger down? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> you guys don't want to know. You don't want to know what happened. Yeah, it's so fucked up. Never have I ever made up a rumor yeah. about someone. I think I have to put two fingers down for that one. Oh my my God. entire hand is already out. See, I told you that's why I needed the 10. <laughs> Sarah doesn't even have three fingers down yet. I know, I'm just crazy. I do crazy things. I'm like, Bleh. that's why I have four fingers left. Brittany, go. Okay, uh, never have I ever shoplifted? That's lame. Do another one. I would have put my finger down if you had said the other guy, but... It's fine. <laughs> that pretty much still counts, right? Should I put my finger down anyway? Okay, your turn. Oh, my turn? Never have I ever went to a strip club on a Friday night and stole all the money off the ground. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll put my finger down. No, 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 that's not how the game works. It's fine. I mean, no one else did, so that was a waste of a round otherwise. Yeah, that's genuinely not cool. Well, that's, that's not the point of the game. You guys are making me look so bad. <laughs> yep. Two left. Oh, Carly just put down her last finger. <laughs> oh, I mean, but she lose. only had five fingers up, so. Oh my god, you're crazy, yeah. girl. Normally, I, I lose. See, this is why it's no fun to play with me. Do you guys want to play again? I've been talking to this new guy. Really? Yeah. Who is it? His name's Noah. Noah who? Wait, Taylor or Campbell? It's uh, Noah Taylor. Oh my god, remember that girl that I had issues with last year because she kept commenting on all my Instagram stuff? Wait, yeah? Yeah, Olivia Taylor. <gasps> That's his sister. Wait, oh my god, no I way. I know, I know. I played softball with her for like 15 years. She actually dated Ava's little brother, Trevor, back in like ninth grade. Trevor no, King? No, 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 not Trevor King. That's the one that dated Samantha. Samantha Elizabeth? No, no, no Samantha L. Samantha Elizabeth is the one that, <laughs> that went to our middle school, remember? And then oh, she dropped out. yeah. Yeah, I actually talked to her the other day. Really? And now she's like best friends with Amber Henderson. Isn't that crazy? Wait, wait, wait. Amber who? Oh, you probably wouldn't know her. I actually went to theater with her. 
Actually, Brittany knows her. Brittany Tanner? Yeah, no, they were really close at one point, but then, like, something happened in, like, fifth grade. They got in a fight in the playground. It was crazy. Yeah, Amber's uncle actually used to work with my mom, and her older sister does horseback riding with my older sister. But anyway, so you're talking to Noah. Yeah, kind of. Have you met his best friend, Mason, yet? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna love him. And his girlfriend, Tiffany, is seriously so sweet. But she goes to McAdams. She's actually friends with Evelyn and Mia. Wait, who? You know, the two girls from soccer? Yeah, I went to Evelyn's birthday party last year, and her sister, Harper, is... She's crazy. I know that her and Thomas White used to hook up. Ew. I think Grayson told me, or was it Jason? I don't know those people. One of the two. Yeah, I think it was Jason, because he's on the McAdams baseball team with George, who used to be in love with Tiffany. Obviously, that was a lot of drama. <laughs> but for real, I love that you're talking to Noah. Yeah. You know, he used to talk to Danielle, right? Uh, yeah. Aren't you guys, like, not cool? Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. Everything's good, Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to double check, because I know Danielle has been running her mouth lately. Wait, wait, wait. About me? Well, I heard that from Jessica. Wait, Jessica Darby? No, Jessica Stevenson. Who? That was in my math class. I could text her if you want. I have her number. Okay, I'm almost done with your eyeshadow. Okay, cool. And then I can do your hair. What is going on in here? Nothing. I'm just doing Emma's makeup. Okay, but it's three in the morning. Yeah? So I think you ladies need to wrap it up. It's time for bed. Okay, we're almost done. Thank you. Is something cooking? Oh yeah, we're making cake. Okay, why? I don't know. We were hungry and we didn't have anything else. There's crackers. I literally bought you guys chips. Sorry, we'll go to bed soon. Okay. Are those my weights? Yeah, we were working out. Oh. In the middle of the night? Yes, we're trying to be healthy. We were watching a TikTok and we got inspired, so we wanted to work out. You wanted to be healthy, so you worked out and then made cake. No, we made the cake first. Is she wearing my dress? Mm, yes. I don't even care right now. I need you to turn off the oven, clean this up, and it's time for bed. Okay, fine. We're probably just gonna put on a movie anyway. A movie? No, it's way too late for a movie. But Emma specifically came over so we could watch all the Harry Potters. Why didn't you start Harry Potter at three in the afternoon? Because we weren't ready to watch it then. Yeah, it has to be dark. Right, well, try to keep it down and let's get some sleep. Okay, but would you be mad if we got McDonald's delivered? Yes. What if we got you a McFlurry? McFlurry, it is 3 a.m. Do you think they still have Oreo? Well, I'll just have to change my mark. Wait, what? You're so lucky I had yellow paint. So, uh, yeah, we just gotta trust the process on this. <coughs> Dude, hurry up. I hear cops. I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, you too. Let's see your marks. Have you guys seen any blue marks? No, sir. No? Good. If you see any, let us know. Will do, yes. Let's go. That was close. What did the letter say again? It said for me to meet them at the Golden Ball and wait for a signal. Sophia, this really sounds like a trap. You can't wear that to the ball. You gotta dress like a yellow mark. You gotta wear a fancy dress. Well, I might have this mark, but I don't have the money. But I do. Come on, we're going shopping. You're about to have your Cinderella dress moment. Hey, you, come here. Let me see that mark. Let me see it closer. Officer, is everything okay? Hi, ma'am. We're here for a maintenance call. Oh, uh, yes. Mind if um, we come in? Yep, yeah, come on in. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> Don't mind the mess. You got a broken water heater? Uh, yes. The water heater. Uh-huh. All right. What's wrong with it? It's not working. Right. Can I see it? Yeah. Um, uh, it's uh, usually in the garage, right? Sometimes. <laughs> Look, we can try the garage. Um, I think it's I think it's that thing over there. Oh, you can just move those out of the way. Sure. Yeah, just push them off to the side. I don't I don't know why I have those there. <laughs> Sorry. Actually, I'll take them. Just um. Do you need water? Or nah, it should be good. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna be right inside if you if you need me or uh, anything. Just let me know. Okay. Sure thing. <clears throat> A toolbox? Um, yeah, I think I have one around here. Uh, somewhere. Uh, I couldn't find a screwdriver, but, um, will this work? Uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay. So you got a lot more stops today? Yep, yeah, this is my last one. Oh, wow. My boss has been working me like crazy, <laughs> and I just want to go in the pool, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. What I'm seeing here is okay. a giant rat is actually stuck in your oh, water heater, and that's making it so it's not going to, yeah, it's not going to flow sense. if yep. there's a rat stuck in there. So what I'm going to actually have to do is um, bill you $100 million. Okay. Y'all mind if I open your sheer flags over here? I can't get to your Dover team. Yeah, sure. Great. Uh, well, we just moved in like a year ago, so I I, I haven't. And y'all are mixing up those seeds and replacing the oil every five oh, months, um, right? No. 
All right, ma'am. Yes. I got that rat out of there, so everything Perfect. should be solved. Awesome. You shouldn't have any more problems. And make okay. sure you're changing yep, your great. filter uh, about three times a week. Three times. And you okay. be, should be switching out that oil. Uh, you got to change it up, switch it out. Switch it. Yep. Or else you're probably going to have more rats. Not going to okay. lie. Okay. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> rats love water, so okay. you might want to get rid of your water. I can do that. I think I can do that. <laughs> that sounds easy enough. Well, then I think we're done here. Yeah. Great. Can I get two tickets for the movie? Uh, what movie? A Bug's Life. Oh, I'm sorry that movie's not playing at this theater. And three popcorns, no corn. Oh, actually, you buy candy over there, but we don't have A Bug's Life tickets. That's okay, I'll just sit in the front. Uh, that's not the problem, we're not sold out, we just simply don't have that movie playing. Okay. Uh, did you want to see another movie? Mean Girls just came out. Are there any bugs? Probably not. I, I don't think it does. When will A Bug's Life be available? You know, I'm, I'm not sure, but I bet they do have it on Disney+. Plus. Sorry, I don't do math. No, no, Disney Plus is not an equation. It's an app. When does the movie start? You haven't purchased a movie ticket. Unfortunately, I have an appointment. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry we didn't have what you were looking for here. So, um, have a nice day. There's an ant on you. Ew. It looks like there are bugs here. Goodbye. Bye. Hey, you about ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. What happened in here? What? Oh, my room. Yeah, I just rearranged it. When? Last night. What time? <sighs> like midnight or something? Oh, okay. Because now that the bed's on this side of the room, it makes way more sense. It like opens up the room and it gives off a way better vibe. Right. Uh, well, I... I could have helped you. No, it's fine. I got nothing else to do. Well, you know, you could always go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it looks very nice. I like what you did with the chair. And look how cute. I used Sharpie on the wall so I could write song lyrics. Yeah, you did. Wow. <laughs> so cool, right? So cool. Thanks. I was going to pull up the carpet so I could paint the floor like a pink or like a neon green or something, but we didn't have any paint. Hmm. <laughs> well, bummer. <laughs> yeah, do you think it's cool? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, maybe next time we could do it when the sun's out. Eh, I'm always just really tired during the day. Probably because you're up doing this. <laughs> no, I, that's, I don't think that's what it is. Right. Yeah, now I'm like, what am I going to work on tonight, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you could always sweep the kitchen. No. I am an extremely picky eater. And now that I'm about to turn 30 years old, I decided this will be a good time to shut up and try things. I'm gonna go to the grocery store, pick up some fruit that I've never tried, and I'm gonna be an adult and I'm gonna try it for you guys. So let's go to the grocery store and not pick out only spaghetti and chocolate cake. Okay. I don't know what to pick. I don't, I don't want either. Either. Maybe you should pick it. I mean, you could do a banana even though you technically tried that one time. You to try bananas? <laughs> I don't want that. Spaghetti squash. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna like pears. That's not the point. Oh, I know. How do I know which one? Maybe I have no pears. goddamn idea. Um, ew. We'll try a, a bark lead pear. So we... <clears throat> okay. I think I'm ready. Okay, so I'm gonna start off small. <laughs> Very small. You can barely even see this. I have a banana. <clears throat> Piece of watermelon and a piece of pear. I really don't know where I want to start because they're all gross, but I feel like the banana is going to be the least gross. So I'm going to start with the pear because I'm scared of this one. <sighs> I'm like sweating. <laughs> and I know you guys are going to make fun of me because I look like an idiot and I'm an adult and I don't know how to eat this stuff, but that's just the thing. I'm an adult and I don't have to eat this stuff, but then I feel like shit all the time because I don't eat anything fresh. So here we go. Mm-mm. Ew, no. Why didn't I get water? I know this isn't water, but this is the closest thing I can find. Okay, had the texture of an apple, but like the sweetness was not sweet. It was, there's no way I'm gonna eat this whole thing. I'm gonna take the smallest bite. I thought there was something wrong with this. I thought it was like too mushy or something and my husband ate it and said it was delicious, so. <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard, it's a freaking watermelon. Okay, Ugh. where do I even eat it? Shit. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking pathetic, dude. It's so dramatic. Okay, this one was not as bad. 
I don't like it. I won't eat it. I won't eat it. I won't eat it. No, that's it. That's too much. Okay. Last, but hopefully not least, is the banana. <laughs> And I'm gonna be honest, I did try a banana three or four years ago and it was disgusting. So I'm gonna try again. And my husband said this is one, it was a little green, so they might be harder than they should be, not as mushy, but. Ew. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. As I lick my fingers. <laughs> okay, so. On a scale of one to five, five being I will never eat this again. Pear, I will never eat this again. Watermelon, a three. I could try it again, I don't like it. A banana, a two. So if you have any suggestions on foods or things that you wanna watch me try, please feel free to leave a comment and suggestions because there's so many things that I literally haven't eaten and it's simply because I am a child of a human. So these are gonna go to my rats or my dogs or whoever the hell can eat them. I'll have to look it up. I don't know about the pear. I feel like the pear's fine. Thanks for watching me suffer. Till next time. On today's episode of Shut Up and Try It, I'm gonna try frozen blueberries and I have frozen cantaloupe and honeydew. It's all kind of in a mixture. So we're gonna, we're gonna move on to the next level here. Now, some people pointed out some things in my last video that I wanted to address. Some of them a little bit more aggressively than I thought was necessary, but some good points nonetheless. Because I am such a picky eater, I go into trying these foods already kind of in my head of like, I don't like this, I don't like this. So this time I'm gonna try and <laughs> go in with a more open mind. And I know some people were really confused about how I could be this age and not be able to eat basic fruit or really anything for that matter. And let me just stop for a second and really emphasize that this is not like a cute and quirky, like, oh, like this is seriously detrimental to my health. I have serious anemia. I also don't eat meat for personal reasons. And I have allergies to different types of nuts, which kind of makes getting protein hard, especially when I don't even like half the things that give me protein. I'm gonna stop talking for a second and we're gonna try honeydew. We're gonna do it. Okay, positive thoughts here. Okay, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> to be honest, the frozen makes it like that much better. Okay, tolerable. And speaking of allergies, I actually developed a peanut allergy at 18 years old, completely unexpectedly out of the blue. So that random sudden almost death experience has given me this like additional sense of anxiety that makes it difficult to try things that I don't know because I'm scared I'm gonna die. Like seafood, I'm terrified to try. My brother has kind of like an oral allergy to certain fruits, so that scares me. Okay, frozen blueberry. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. It's gonna be good. Positive thoughts. Oh, not really a lot of flavor and maybe that's just because it's frozen and it felt like there was a lot in my mouth, like gritty. Ugh. Somebody made a good point too that if I'm so used to eating processed foods, fresh food, fruit is just gonna taste weird anyway. So I just need to keep trying it. So although this may seem pathetic to some people who have voiced that quite loudly, this is truly for my own good. I have a lot of anxiety in different areas of my life that really stems from not knowing the outcome of something, kind of being afraid of the unknown anxiety, right? So that's kind of what it is with the food. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. I already have a texture thing going on. And it's also just built up in my head that I don't like it, right? Number three is the frozen cantaloupe. I got this, I got this. Okay, honeydew's better. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, honestly, the people that suggested the frozen fruit, thank you, this is like way better. This is, this is working. Okay, so on a scale of one to five, five being I would never try it again. I think that's what my scale was. Honeydew, I will try again. I'm gonna give that a two. Cantaloupe, I'm gonna give that a four. I didn't really like the cantaloupe. And blueberries, I'm gonna give a three. So thank you to those that left suggestions for these types of fruits. Let's get out of the fruit category. Maybe let's try some different options of different condiments, vegetables. I don't really eat meat, so stay away from the meat. Don't like beans, but I'll try them. So if you also find that you are a picky eater, join me in this journey of trying new things. I mean, mine as well. This is something we can do together. We can do it. I believe in you and me. Okay, thank you for joining me on this round of shut up and try it. I didn't shut up at all, I talked the whole time.
Welcome back to another episode of Shut Up and Try It, where this picky eater tries new foods. Today, we're gonna be trying mozzarella sticks. Just kidding, I wish. Now, actually today, we're gonna be talking about texture and mushy and ugh. Today, I have gathered some ugh, some foods from my fridge that don't go together, but they all have some sort of consistency that I would not traditionally be happy with. I'm just trying not to waste food, so I don't wanna to go to the store and get something brand new, or I'm gonna get something that I know that my husband will eat if I ultimately don't. So let's start off with the cottage cheese. I typically don't have an issue with cheese, so I really don't have an excuse for not liking cottage cheese besides that. Besides that the consistency just... <laughs> my husband eats this straight out of the container, so that's how I'm gonna try it today. What an enticing bowl of white. <laughs> if you get that reference, then I appreciate you. This is a, a mushy texture. <sighs> Positivity, this is gonna be good. <laughs> it's not bad. Why does it taste like mozzarella? Okay, not bad. I, you know what? This is good. This is actually pretty good. Let's do it quick. Well, what is the problem with the floor? Palette cleanser here. Since none of these foods are anything related or should go together ever. I don't know if I want to do the blackberry jam or the sweet relish. Mm, let's do the relish. I also realized that this would be way better if it was on a hot dog or just paired with something. But just for the sake of trying it and knowing exactly what this tastes like by itself, I'm gonna try it by itself. <laughs> The thing about relish is I feel like it smells good and I like pickles. I feel like I should be able to eat relish. I've always wanted some and the one time I did put it on my hot dog, I it was disgusting. So I'm gonna try it again. <sighs> mm -mm. Immediately no. Mm -mm. What else is in, it's like a pickly flavor and then there's like something else in it and I don't like that something else. Blech. No. To be honest, the texture of this is not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought this was gonna be a little bit more mushy, but it's actually crunchy, so that I I can deal with. Texture, yes. Taste, uh-uh. <coughs> yeah. Thank God for goldfish. Last one. Now, I chose the blackberry jam for a couple reasons. Number one, I've never had blackberries, so I've never had blackberry jam. Number two, also for the texture thing, the mushy, the soapy, soapy, <laughs> soupy, too much liquid, um, number three, because I will and have always been a fan of grape jam and grape jelly, but refuse to try any other kind. Refuse. Grape is my only exception. And that's kind of the thing that keeps happening in a bunch of different food categories. There's one exception, one thing that I will eat and I won't try any other version of it. I won't expand outside of that. I feel like this looks like medicine, first of all. Okay, wait, what flavor is this? Blackberry, blackberry. Uh, all right, blackberry jam. Oh, wow, that's very sweet. Okay, I don't hate it. Hold on, hold on, let me try again. See, despite being familiar with the jam and jelly texture, it bothers me because the taste is different. It's weird. I don't hate it, I really don't. And this isn't really like a great example of like a healthy option that I need to expand into or anything. It's simply just the fact that I am familiar with this texture, but I'm still scared of it, despite, uh, bleh, you know. I like it, but like my, mind is telling me I shouldn't. So that's the problem. My taste buds are like, cool girl, it's fine. And my head's just like, ah. finally, on a scale of one to five, five being I would never try it again, one being I will absolutely try it again. Cottage cheese, I'll give a one. I'll do it again. Relish is next. Um, Four, I'll eat it again, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to. Blackberry jam, let's do a two. If it just so happens to end up on my toast, I'll, I would eat it. If you have any food suggestions or things that you want to see me try, make sure to let me know. And if you're going on this journey with me, I would not recommend trying these three things in a row. Uh, till next time, cheers. Welcome back to another episode of Shut Up and Try It, where this picky eater tries new foods. The suggestion today is peach, blackberry, and for whatever reason, this comment got cut off. 
and kiwi. This is already gonna be interesting because I never film myself in public, so mm, this is gonna be <laughs> awkward and weird. What was that? The hardest thing is gonna be going into Target and not buying things I don't need. I literally came in on the opposite wrong side of the store, so. <laughs> okay, I found blackberries. They have like 50 kinds of apples, but no peaches or kiwis, so maybe it's out of season, I don't know. I don't know how this stuff works. Well, that didn't work, so I'm gonna try Winn-Dixie now. I couldn't find a fresh peach, so I got this little cup of peaches, so. Also, I couldn't find a kiwi, so I ended up getting a mango and instead. It's green, right? Same thing. Ellie, you want to try mango? We can try things together if you want. Let's start with the peaches since they're already cut and ready to go. I just have to open this disgustingness. <gasps> I just, the water is so gross. Oh, it smells like an alcoholic drink I've had or something. Ready? <laughs> okay, it's actually not terrible. Okay, I kept thinking it was bad because it was immediately like strong but i don't think i hate it it's just mushy and wet <laughs> next up is the blackberries i don't think ellie's had a blackberry but we've definitely had blueberries and strawberries ready for blackberry all right we'll do it at the same time ew ew what's in that there's like something there's like something hard <laughs> i'm assuming it's the seeds that are like a hard texture. It's not bad. Um, one more time. The consistency reminds me of a grape, which is weird. Okay, these aren't terrible. Did you like this one? I think she likes all of them so far. Bro, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with this. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll just cut it. Ew, what is it doing? Why doesn't it cut normal? What's on the inside? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I got a piece off. Are you supposed to eat this? I'm gonna have to look up how to eat this. I don't like how it smells. Do not look the way I just cut this. Look, no, don't look. This is embarrassing, don't look. Are you ready for mango? All right, I cut the skins off because apparently dogs shouldn't eat the skin, so. It didn't really taste like anything. <laughs> I'm still, I maybe I'm not eating it right, but I do feel like this has not a lot of flavor that is intimidating. Okay, so on a scale of one to five, five being you would you would not eat this again. Where are you at? I'm gonna give the peaches a two. I actually didn't hate these. What do we think of the blackberries? One to five. Um, I'm gonna take this as a one, considering she's trying to eat them. I'm gonna I'm gonna give these a one too. I feel like I could eat these again. Last but least, what are we giving the mango? Hmm. A one as well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a a four. Um, I don't like it. I know this wasn't one of my suggestions. I still need to find a kiwi, but uh. well, thanks for helping. I appreciate you, my friend. Okay, that that wasn't terrible. I I feel like every time I do this, it gets a little bit easier. So if you have any suggestions on foods that you want to see me or Ellie try, make sure to leave a comment. Until next time, cheers. Look who decided to come home. What are you still doing up? Do you have any idea how worried I have been about you? No. I tried calling you and you didn't answer the phone. I don't have any missed calls from you. Well, yeah. Because if I call you, you're just going to yell at me that I'm bothering you and you, you can't even call you. I, I'm so confused. Did you call me or not? Well, of course you're confused. You've been drinking. Nope, I haven't. <laughs> yes, you have. I, I've been your age. I know what you were out doing. Okay, well, I see that you've been drinking well yeah i i'm i have to live with you it's stressful trying to move out so <laughs> here we go where are you gonna go you have an alcohol problem no i don't okay little miss perfect miss perfect over here doesn't drink at all i didn't say that let me tell you okay have you ever been in a car accident what hmm because i have i've been in one it's scary what does that have to do with what do you want that to happen to you no. Exactly. So you need to stay in this house. Okay, why don't you go to bed? Sweetheart, I love you. Okay, thanks. I love you too. And that's why I need you to stay. Stay where? Here. I need you to stay here. I need you to take care of me. Look at me. Well, I'm trying to help you now get you to bed. I think you're being shellfish. Did you say shellfish? Shut <laughs> You've never made a mistake. Everybody, she's never made a mistake. You're so selfish. You are shell selfish. How? Get away from me. Just go. Oh my god. Honey, where are you going? 
Who can I give this thing to? Okay, uh, is this your pet? Hopefully not anymore. We need to give this thing back. Do you have a carrier? I don't know. I just need to get that thing out of my house. Okay, I'm sorry it didn't work out. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, that thing is way too messy. We need something more simple like a dog. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you right now that a dog is a lot of work as well. I just want something I don't have to look at or take care of and I can just leave it there and it'll be fine. Okay, maybe you know a dog isn't the best option. Are you trying to tell me I can't buy a pet? No, 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 I'm just saying sometimes it's beneficial to do a little bit more research before taking home another animal. Oh, well, I don't have time for that. My daughter's already crying and pissing me in the backseat because I returned her best friend, so I just need something quick and simple that I can just take out to her. Okay, well, I am gonna recommend that you guys do a little bit more thinking before you adopt another animal. No, we're okay. No, no, no I strongly recommend that you guys think about it and come back. I feel like you think I'm a bad person because I returned this pet. He's gonna be much happier with somebody else. Uh, well, this is a female rat, just for starters. It doesn't matter. I mean, it kinda does. If you had accidentally put a male in with this rat, you would've had a lot of rats. All the more reason to get rid of it. Great, so we'll see you in a few weeks when you've thought about it more? No, what am I supposed to tell my daughter? Well, maybe you guys can look into different types of dogs, what responsibilities. Oh my god, just give me the rat back. I'll just take the rat back. You know, I don't feel comfortable doing that. Okay, what, so you're just gonna keep these animals a hostage here? They're not allowed to go home with anybody? That's not the case at all. Isn't it more cruel to force them to stay here instead of going home with somebody? Not when the living and safety conditions of that home are questionable. I'll be back. I have a ton of information right here. If you Get out of my face. Bye. <laughs> Ew, what are you doing? Crystal, shut up. I'm doing a live. Just be quiet for like five minutes. I just wanted to wait for a few more people to get in here before we started. So I just got off my flight and I opened my phone and I had a flood of comments from you guys that were just super negative about my last video. So I really just wanted to jump on here so we could address it. My management team begged me not to say anything. They told me not to get on live here. They told me to just ignore it, but that's not how I fly, okay? And you guys know that. A lot of you are upset because I was promoting vapes in my last video. You're so pretty. Oh, thank you so much. I actually have a new cleanser that's dropping tomorrow. Let's get one thing straight. This is not a vape. This is an organic puffer. Obviously you guys didn't go to the website because you would have seen that it is all natural and organic. Now, yes, technically vape does come out of this, but if you don't inhale it into your lungs, it won't be a problem. So I don't know why you guys are coming for me over this. Some of you were literally accusing me for being the cause of lung cancer. And number two, I wasn't trying to hide that it was an ad, okay? I'm not scared of anything, so why would I hide? I don't even understand that accusation. I don't have to tell you guys it's an ad. It should be obvious. Let me make one thing clear, okay? Because I'm not messing around. I do not stand Oh yeah, I got my earrings from Claire's. Actually, I know they're so cheap. And you know, we're a family here, so I know my real followers, my babies, aren't the ones making these comments. And actually, oh hey Michelle, girl, what's up? I can't believe you guys got so offended over something so stupid. The internet is so sensitive lately, and I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm literally about to retire. Yeah, no, I... No, I'm going to. Everyone's saying, no, don't leave. I'm going to leave because of people like you that make it hard for influencers to just be themselves. It's disgusting. You guys really need to get a life. Oh my God, hurry up. Girl, I'm coming. I'm coming. Seriously. And make sure you keep an eye out for my skincare routine, okay? Bye, babies. I love you. What the hell? Um, excuse me. Yeah? Who are you? Dolores. Okay, and do I know you? Oh, I just moved in next door. Oh, that's nice. Why are you in my pool? Not in the pool. You were on my property. I was told this was a community pool. I don't know who told you that or why they would have told you that, but that is not accurate. Well, the screen door was unlocked. That doesn't mean you can just come in, get out. <laughs> I was here first. It, it doesn't matter. Then why do you care? I'm just gonna call the police. No, okay, fine. I'm leaving. Thank you. I'm moving. No, no, that's still mine. What? That chair you're sitting on is mine. You can't claim everything. This is a community spot. I shouldn't have to explain myself. I'll let you know if I need anything. Thank you. No, I... Is that my cup? No, I got it from the community kitchen. So you were in my house. Wait, that's your house? Yes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. Okay, just get out. Yeah, no, I'm going. <laughs> just clean it when you're done. Bye, mom. See you later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Remember I'm getting dinner with my friends tonight? <laughs> you never told me that. Yes, I did. We talked about it this morning. Okay, seriously? Seriously, when was the last time you went to see a doctor? Because I genuinely think there's something wrong with your head. You're always coming up with these situations. I think we need to schedule something. Okay, okay then I'm letting you know now that I'm going out with my friends, so. Wearing that? What's wrong with it? <laughs> I mean, how much are you charging on your street corner tonight? I just can't imagine anyone that would want to be seen with you. What are you doing with your hair? What? Seriously, it breaks my heart to see you try and do these things without my help. Next time you can come to me and I'll help you, okay? Great.
Thanks, bye. But why are you rushing away from me? Am I that bad? You're being rude. I'm being rude? You're the one that's running out the door. Because you're making fun of me. Ugh, okay, seriously, you can't take a joke. It doesn't sound like a joke when you're saying it so seriously. How are you this sensitive? Everyone else in the family can take a joke, but you take it so personally. I don't, I don't understand how you got so insecure. I wonder. Like, seriously about that doctor's appointment, because your brain is just fried. Wait, this is what I'm talking about. You always do this. You always try to make me feel like there's something wrong with me when I tell you how I feel. <sighs> okay, fine. What? I thought you were gonna say something. You're crazy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that's ugly. Huh. <clears throat> Hello? Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm your neighbor, Julie. <laughs> Just wanted to stop by and see how the move-in was going. I know you've been in for about 24 hours now, so I just wanted to maybe say some things before you get too settled in, uh, specifically about this. All right, what about it? Yeah, this was in the middle of the road. I don't know if this was yours or anything, but what I figured since you're new here, it's probably yours. No, that's definitely not mine. Um, okay, what, well, uh, do you mind maybe throwing it away then? Just a few things. Number one, <laughs> this is kind of a big one for this neighborhood, but your mailbox is pretty dirty, and I know that you just moved in, I get it, but that needs to probably be your next thing that you do today is just clean that up. We just like to keep it real tidy. That trash can is a really off black, and we prefer it just to be like a night black. Also, I heard you have one of those loud cars. Can you just not drive it? So nice meeting you. Honey, are you ever gonna cut the grass? <laughs> it looks like no one lives here. You gotta work on that curb appeal. Oh. Uh-huh. No, I'd never be able to cook here. I didn't know you liked swimming so much. <laughs> Hope you keep it clean. I heard it's expensive to maintain. Yeah, but it's worth it. I have far better things to spend my money on. Oh, no, no, no. I won't be sleeping in here. No. This doesn't seem necessary. Do you own a vacuum? Mmm. Oh, <laughs> these are disgusting. Oh, a walk-in closet. I just don't understand why you would need this much space. Interesting. No towels. Why do you need so much privacy? I prefer to see my neighbors. I like when they can look right into my pool and, and my windows. It's, it's, it's very comforting, so it's kind of weird to be so blocked off. You know, I never understood why someone felt like they needed so much space just to shower in. <laughs> just need my little corner with water, and I'm good. This is, this is a lot. Oh, be oh, careful. Um, Those are heated. Heated? I don't really see the point of that. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's hot in this house. Do you have a heat? Does the pool have a heater? Oh, the Johnson's pool had a heater. I liked, I liked the heater. I don't like natural water temperatures. What is that? What is that smell? Oh, I think it's just my candle. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, I wouldn't try to sell the place now. You probably won't get a good deal for it. Who's that? It's me and my husband. Oh, so you don't see your friends at the laundromat anymore? Um, no. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're sure this is how you like the place, um, good luck. <laughs> oh, and did you need a box for that? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, she'll take the box. What? If I'm paying for that meal, you're gonna eat all of it. Oh, it's just that salads don't really do well to go. Well, then you shouldn't have ordered a salad to go. I didn't. So box or no box? Box, bring a box, bring like six boxes. Why would you need six boxes? Six, bring me six boxes! Oh my God. Okay, what is going on? I thought we were having a good night. What? I, we are, I just, I don't like when my money gets wasted. If it's that big of a deal, I'll just pay you back. It's not a big deal, seriously, no worries. Okay, did you still wanna see a movie after this? I don't know, are you gonna make me buy you popcorn and then not eat it? Excuse me? Or how about I take you shopping and then everything we buy we'll just leave at the store? Uh, okay, I'm sorry if I offended you, I just don't want soggy salad to go. Here are your six boxes. Six is a ridiculous number, we only need one. <laughs> Thought so. Actually, you know what, don't even bother, it's not like she's gonna eat it. That was no secret. Should I just come back? Just take the salad off the check. I can't do that. She didn't even eat it! Yes I did, there's like four pieces of lettuce left. Then why can't you just finish it? Because now that you're demanding it, it's making me very uncomfortable and very resistant. Resistant? Okay, look, I'm just gonna say this right now. I'm not comfortable going on another date with you. Okay. So, don't call me. Wasn't gonna. This has been uncomfortable. Great. So, were you still gonna pay me back? No. This hotel is huge! Yeah, my mom and her friends are staying here. Wait, you're not from Florida? Nope. Actually, I don't know where I'm from. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Have you ever been there? No, we're mostly in like New York, Chicago, all the big loud cities. What? That's so cool. Well, now that we're friends, you can come with us. Really? Well, what about my family? Oh, you have a family? Yeah, of course. I just, 
left them. Whoa, dude. <laughs> That's intense. <laughs> what about your family? Oh, I, I don't know. I just kind of do whatever I want. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I guess so. Are you ready to go inside? Okay, this hotel is amazing. I'm so glad I met you. Lily John. Mom? Oh, no. <laughs> I knew I'd find you eventually. <laughs> do, do I know you, crazy lady? You just called her mom. Hi, Lily John. I'm so glad to see you. Uh-uh. She wants to pretend like she doesn't know us. Like she's a little runaway. Isn't that cute? Mom, I'm not coming home with you. <laughs> Do you hear that? She's just like her father. Non-committal, flaky, and disappointing. I can see why you pretended not to know this woman. What are you doing here? I'm with my new friend, Tuji. Tuji? That's the coolest name ever. Can we all be friends? Yeah, more friends. Amberjack, stop. We're not talking to this side of the family ever again, okay? You're mine now, and she chose your father, so... We're, we're disconnecting from now on. Mom, we can't just leave her here. She left us. Let's go. Wait, Lily John, don't leave me again. Amberjack, I, I... Amberjack, let's go. Get me away from her. I'll come up with something, I promise. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. <laughs> Are you ready? Um, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, this is my room. We just gotta be quiet because my mom's a little sensitive. Oh, yeah, no problem. <gasps> David, is that you? <sighs> Gee... I told you not to come to my room before 10.30 p.m. Who's your friend? I like her hair. This is my new friend, Lily John. This room is fancy. Uh, uh. <laughs> is there something wrong with her? Your, your, your mom, your, is. Yeah, you said you wanted to meet her, right? Hi. I cannot get over that purple hair. It's so cute. Gee, why do you never do anything cool to your hair? Whatever. Me? <laughs> Thank you. You are adorable. Can you just be my new daughter? Yes. So, I found my extensions, and I'm going to try them in today to see how they held up since college. We're not going to talk about how long ago that was. My hair was much lighter in college, so this is actually what the extensions originally looked like. This was my original hair color, but I've dyed them to match my current hair. I got these extensions back when I was in college because at the time, I legit thought that I was Kylie Jenner. And as you guys probably know, I suck at commitment when it comes to my hair. So I got the clip-in ones and not the ones that you glue in that I'd probably just rip out like two days later. So these just have the little clips. This is a three-part one. So this is going to go on the bottom for me. So I have my hair parted. I don't even want to see what it looks like. But that's not the point because it's just going to be a quick thing, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and stick this on here. I'll show you what it looks like after I actually have it on. The first layer is in. As you can see, I clipped it along my hairline. So... Okay, the second layer is a four clip. I just do it a little, like one row higher than the other one. Row two, again, do not judge. I'm not looking, I have no mirror. It is what it is. Okay, so row two is in. This is what it looks like with two layers in. Honestly, if it was brushed and looked a little bit better, it probably would blend a little bit better. My hair is thin, so the higher up we go, the easier it is to see it. So I could use a three clip or a two clip. I might just do the three, just. Just cause, why not? Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. This is three layers. This is my actual hair on top. They clip really strong, so you should be able to straighten your hair, brush your hair, put your hair up, and they should not pull out. So if I wore it more on this side, we've got that extra thing in there. If you wanna go crazy, there's also the one piece, so I could have just stuck this maybe like right under here. Again, this isn't gonna look good. It's just for a demonstration. There we go, I'll show you what it looks like from the back. What? <laughs> what? Are you talking about me? All right, you have a nice day. Uh-oh. Is everything good? Uh, yeah, do you mind if I take this phone call? It's kind of an emergency. Oh yeah, of course, just step outside, I got this. Awesome, thank you. Hey, is everything okay? <laughs> well, I'm at work, but I can come get you if you need me. <sighs> no, 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 it's okay. If you're sick, I'd rather you come home. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, hold on. Hi, yes. I'm waiting. For what? I need help finding a product. Oh, oh yeah, no, if you just go right inside the store, someone will be able to help you. Okay, but you have a store name tag on. You can't help me? I, uh, no. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, excuse me. Hi, yes, how can I help you? Oh, well, I was just curious what your phone policy is here because it's very inappropriate to have employees on the phone in front of customers. Oh, we don't have our phones out while we're working. Oh, uh, well, tell that to the girl up front who's greeting customers on her phone. Oh, no, she's just taking an emergency phone call. That's totally separate. Okay, but she's at work. Yes. Well, it makes me uncomfortable shopping here knowing people have other obligations. Okay, well, I'm happy to help you. I don't understand why she can't help me. Because she's on a break right now. Well, as a customer, seeing someone on the phone makes me not want to give you a dime. 
Okay, well, I'm not on the phone. Hey, I'm really sorry. My little brother's sick. I have to go pick him up from school. Okay, yeah, no problem. <laughs> Guess if you're employed here, you don't have to work. Ma'am, are you gonna buy something? No, I think I want a job here. I can just be on my phone. I don't have to work. It's like a circus. What a playground this is. Jeez. What the? I got the door. Don't worry. Oh, thank you. Hi, welcome in. Hello, party of three. <laughs> wow. Did you say something? Oh, I just thought it was rude that you cut in front of me like that, but no worries. What do you mean? Well, you see, normally if someone holds the door open for you, you're supposed to let them pass you inside. You don't skip ahead, but you do you. Okay, you did me a favor and I appreciated it. I'm sensing an issue? Yes, you know, I was here first. Just because I decided to do someone a favor doesn't mean I should be punished and have to go to the back of this line. This is ridiculous. Oh, there's no wait. I can sit both of you now. I did not cut you in line. You allowed me to pass you. Okay, now there's a line forming behind you. Can, can we not? I don't know who raised you, but they did you wrong. Don't talk about my mother. Are you two in line? Apparently not, because if it was a line, the person in front would go first. Seriously, you need to let it go. Okay, well, I'm hungry and I want to eat, so can I have a table? Yes, please come this way. Oh, wait a second, excuse me. Did she seriously just skip the line? Well, you guys were just standing there. You could have asked. I did. You know what? How about everyone just go off the table and just do whatever you want. Just sit wherever you want, because I'm not here. Whoa. Your emotional response is so irrational. Yeah, seriously, who raised you? I, okay. Are you sure you don't have the barbecue? Uh, yes, I'm sure we don't have barbecue ice cream. Okay, then I'll get the... This is ridiculous. Hello? Hi, can you please put in your order? I've been waiting here 20 minutes. Good morning, nice to meet you. Okay, if she doesn't order, can I just skip her? Ma'am, you've only been here for like two minutes. Can we just be patient? No, I shouldn't have to be patient. This is outrageous. I'm ready to put in my order. Oh, thank God. What can I get you? Um, the barbecue. Oh my God. Like I said, we don't have barbecue ice cream. I thought this was the four o'clock special. I'm sorry, we, we don't have specials and it's 10 a.m. Gotta go, I'm late for an appointment. Yes, thank God, go to your appointment but I'm late. Well, we're open till eight if you need to come back. What about on Saturdays? Oh my God, can I get a sugarless vanilla cone? A sugarless vanilla cone. Uh, with chocolate sprinkles and- Chocolate sprinkles? Stop, you had your chance to order. It's my turn now. Okay. And can I get a Heath bar? Heath? What is your problem? I'm trying to put in an order. Then hurry up. Hello? Goodbye. Oh, can, can I speak to a manager? Yes, hi. You're the manager? No. So you wanna watch a movie or something? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, do you want snacks? What the hell is Tyler doing at Kenzie's house? What? Tyler, I just watched him drive from soccer practice to Kenzie's house, what the hell? You watched him? Yeah, we're following each other's location. Why? Because of this exact reason, he's never honest with me about what he's doing or where he's going, so now I have to watch over him. That sounds like a lot of effort on your part to hold someone accountable who doesn't even care enough to be honest with you. Okay, I know you wouldn't understand, but this is how people in a relationship make it work. Okay, what movie do you wanna watch? Hold on, I'm calling him. <laughs> Tyler, hi baby, where are you? Oh, you're on your way home, that's so cute, because according to my app, you're at Kenzie's house, so you have one more chance to be honest with me or Tyler! Just hang up. Oh, you're just getting the homework from her? Well, you could have gotten it from me, so I will be contacting your mother. Girl, what the hell? Hi, sweetie. How was your day? It was fine. Fine? Yeah, just really long. That's all I get? No details? What do you want to know? Well, I don't know. You're in class all day. What did you learn? Um, biology? Well, come on, talk to me. Is there anything interesting going on with your friends? Um, actually, there was some drama in the lunchroom today because Jennifer's on a keto diet but not really, she doesn't really follow it. But Amanda is on a vegetarian diet, so they had this whole argument. Did you want to do chicken or steak for dinner? Uh, chicken, I guess. Okay. So anyway, they were arguing about whether or not fish would Oh, did you text your uncle back? He's been texting me all week asking what you want for your birthday, and I told him you'd text him. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll text him. Oh, and your cousin Stacy failed her driver's test, so I guess I'll be picking her up for gymnastics every week still. Hmm. Oh, are you not interested in what I have to say? I was just telling you about my day and then you interrupted me. What were you saying? I was telling you about the argument we had at school. In your biology class? No, at lunch. But I don't understand why you all are worried about what each other are doing and you're not paying attention to the teacher. We weren't in class. What do you mean you weren't in class? So you're skipping class? No, we were at lunch. <laughs> I'm so confused. I feel like you're not giving me all the details. You're hiding something. What are you hiding? 
Nothing! You just aren't listening! Did you happen to stop by the front office and ask Miss Johnson about that one paper? And how long's the wait? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, no problem. We have time to kill. Perfect. <laughs> just a few more minutes, baby. Just a few more minutes. I know it's a long wait. Excuse me, how much longer? Uh, excuse me, do you know how much longer? No, I don't. Hey folks, welcome in. Do you want to eat inside uh, or outside? I don't think it matters. Do you care? I don't care. No, we'll sit anywhere. Great, your table's right here. Oh, perfect, but um... You know, actually, I think we'd rather sit outside. Okay. You know, it's actually a bit windy out here. Uh, we'll take that table inside again. <laughs> Hi there. Welcome in. How are you this evening? Two of us? Okay, that'll be 30 minutes. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock on a Wednesday. There's tables everywhere. I see them all around open. We can't just sit right there. No. Y'all got fish and chips? Uh, no. Peace. Okay. Reservation for Miller. Okay, party of two? Yes, that's us. Awesome. Uh, actually, though, we've added a few more people. How many? Uh, just, uh, we have 12. Um, <laughs> but a few of them probably won't eat, and you can just squeeze them in on the sides. No, it's really okay. It's just a few more people. Uh, did you want a table? Oh, oh. Okay, I'm just gonna catch the last few minutes of the game in the bar. No, no, actually, we're closed. Oh, don't worry. It's all right. I won't order then. <laughs> it's all right. Well, Let's we're go. trying to clean up in here, I so... I can just clean around me. It's fine. I just, you won't even know nope, I'm here. No, sir. Hi, are you still coming to Aunt Lucy's baby shower this weekend? Yup. Wait. This weekend? I thought it was next weekend. Oh, it was, but then she changed it to this weekend. What? No, I can't do this weekend. Why not? It's your aunt's baby shower. No, I know. I just, I have tickets to see a concert in Miami this weekend. And what am I supposed to tell everyone? Nothing. I'll just, I'll call her and I'll explain everything. All right, fine. You just do what makes you happy. If I could do both, I would. I just can't be in two places at once. No, I know, but once again, you're just choosing yourself over your family, but no big deal. I think she'll understand that if you change your date last second, some people can't show up. Well, I'm still able to show up, but I had to cancel my hair appointment. That's different. You're, you're not losing money. I'm going to lose plane tickets and concert ticket money. Okay. I hope you have a good time. Well, it'll be difficult because everyone will be asking where you are. Then just tell them or change the subject. Oh, it's just a little embarrassing that my daughter can't show up for a family event, but you just do what you want to do. It's fine. Doesn't sound fine. I just hope one day you make time to see your family because we miss you. Can you stop? Just subtly hint that you're disappointed. If you're upset, just tell me. Stop saying it's fine. No, it is. It's fine. No big deal. Great. So I'll talk to you later. I don't know if you'll have time later. It seems like you're very busy. You know what? I am busy. Forever and ever. I'll never be free again. 25% off the entire store. What a bargain. Let's go. I was thinking we could find you some new jeans or something. Oh, we're just looking. Oh. Oh, it's a sweater. Oh, this is kind of cute. Oh my gosh. You would have loved these as a kid. They have your size. Oh, come on. You're no fun. How much are they? How's it going? Okay, and then take off the 25%, so that would be 30? Oh, I like that. You should try that on. I think dressing rooms are over here, so maybe we can find someone to help us. Excuse me. I'll just wait right out here. Oh, what's that? I found you some pants. I'm gonna throw them over, okay? Try those on and let me know how they fit. Come out and let me see. Actually, I'm gonna go get you another size just in case. They didn't have any more sizes. Which one are you in again? Oh, okay. Come on out. Let me see how they fit. Turn around. Oh, okay. I like those. They're a little big around the waist. Let me, let me see. Yeah, but maybe we can get you a belt. What are these? Are they? They're dinosaurs. Why did they have cute stuff like this when I was your age? Hun, you ready to check out? I got the girl right here. She's ready for us. Come over here. Uh, no, no membership. I guess you want money too. I guess I gotta pay. <laughs> oh, actually, you know, I got a coupon from last Christmas somewhere. That should take it down a little bit. <laughs> okay, now don't tell dad. And so that is why... No, I'll wait. Clearly your conversation is more important than our lesson. What do you think, Amanda? Oh, I'm so sorry. Is your name Amanda? Didn't think so. I'm so sorry, Amanda. Go ahead. How about we go around the room? It's your time you're wasting, not mine. Your high school professors will not put up with this. Not quite. Not quite. Good try, though. Anybody else? I've already learned this. I don't need to learn how to conjugate fractions. Girls, are we working or are we giggling? If we can't work together, I'll pick our partners next time. Your college professors will not put up with this. You need to go sit down. You have a question? Did you ask three peers before you asked me? Okay, do that. And if you have any questions, just raise your hand. What? Put your hand down. I can't answer that question. Uh, uh, excuse me. The bell does not dismiss you. I do. That is very rude. Linda, party of two. Oh, that was quick. You can follow me right this way. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. We didn't want to sit over here. What do you mean? I just prefer to sit by a window with a view. Oh, well, it looks like all of our window seats are currently taken. Oh, that's okay. I'll wait. I just can't guarantee how long of a wait it'll be. That's no problem. I'll just call you when one opens up. Great. And how long will that be? 
Again, I'm really not sure. But just like ballpark, like five, 10 minutes. Uh, honestly, it could be anywhere between 10 minutes to an hour. I'm not really sure. Okay, because I've already been waiting, so I just don't want to wait too much longer. Well, I'd be happy to sit you right now. It just wouldn't be at a window seat. No, no. Okay, so then I'll call you when a window table opens up. <laughs> okay, well, kind of thought I'd be eating by now. Hmm, ring-a-ling-a-ling. -ling. Thanks for calling this restaurant. How can I help you? Excuse me. Yes, we're open till 11 tonight. One moment. Only one more moment until my window table is ready? Perfect. Yeah, that should be no problem. Well, that's very polite of you. See you then. What? I believe it's been one minute. I was on the phone. That wasn't about you, but I can see you anywhere else. If I sit somewhere else, how will I see the birds? I don't know. I only sit by the birds. But you aren't looking at the birds right now. Trust me. I know. Well, you seem fine. Come on, Quarantina, we're leaving. That was really weird. Hi there. Sorry about that. How oh, it's okay. There's you? two of us. Party of two? Okay. Yep. Um, any chance you'd want to sit by a window? I just uh, had a seat open Yeah, up. sure. Perfect. I think I just saw a window seat open up. Oh. Yeah, no, sorry. I just sat someone there. But, but I've been waiting. Yeah, but then you left. Oh, good. Mom, you're home. Jeez. So loud all the time. Can I just have like a second? Oh, well, I just wanted to let you know that I made dinner. Why? Because I know you were getting home late today, so I just figured I could help out and that's a first. Okay, well, dinner's ready whenever you want to eat. Okay, I just walked in the door. Can I have like two seconds to breathe before you force me to try that food? Sorry. <sighs> nothing can ever be done in this house without me. What, you have nothing to say? You asked me to give you space. All I've ever asked for is just basic respect. I had to raise you. Okay. So don't you think that's a lot more work than just making one meal? Yes, but I just want to be appreciated by my kid. I know, that's why I made dinner. Yeah, in my kitchen with my food that I'm gonna probably have to clean up now. Okay, well, if you don't want it, then you're gonna try to make me feel bad now? Thanks, I, I can see that it's overcooked from here. You know I can't eat that. You know, next time just ask me to do it because all you've done here is make a mess of my kitchen. I literally worked all day. I shouldn't have to be dealing with this. All right, I'll clean up. Can you stop trying to make me feel like a terrible mother? You okay? Um, no. I actually think I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Oh, I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Emma! No, you are a hider. I can explain. You are a liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Sophia is a hider. She faked her mark. What? what? I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I was scared. Attention, the game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us but find you. Hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? Shh. You're about to get caught. Do you have anything you want to tell me? Uh, your hair looks good. No, I'm talking... Well, yes, it does. But I'm talking about something else. Uh, I can't think... Do you really think I'm stupid, Jason? I know everything, so lay it all out. Be honest. Is it already our three-month anniversary? Nope. It's our breakup date. What? You're breaking up with me? I don't know. Should I? What is going on? Who's Amanda? I, which one? Amanda, parentheses, work, end parentheses. That's Amanda from work. And why is Amanda texting you at 12 34 p.m.? I don't know. I didn't even read the message yet. Okay, then I'll tell you. Can you cover my shift tomorrow? I'm sick. Oh, well, can you let her know that's no problem? Oh, is that no problem? Okay, what is that code for, Jason? Oh my god, there's no code. It oh, it looks like someone's trying to come up with a story. Tiffany, what the f- Oh no, you're not gonna turn this around on me. It's 100% you, and it's always been you. Well then, if you can't trust me, why are you with me? Jason, you know I don't have a choice. I am in love with you. Get that. Okay, then maybe work on yourself. What, so I'm the only one with a problem here? I mean, I didn't do anything. Yeah, you did. This is your fault. Literally how? Hmm, texting other girls, making up stories, lying to me. The list goes on and on, Jason. Fine, what, then let's break up. Fine, then I'm texting Trevor. Then I'm texting Amanda. What? How are you gonna do this to me? Tiffany, this is what you wanted. You did this, so. Well, fine, then I'm sending him pictures. Okay, well, bye. You're going to see Amanda, aren't you? I'm not gonna go see her. It looks like she's sick. Yeah, sick with herpes. Which you probably have and gave to me. Let's just get back together. Uh, excuse me. Hi, what? Hi, sorry, you're uh, sitting in my seat. <laughs> it doesn't have your name on it. I mean, it kind of does. It's on my ticket. For this seat. Okay, well, no one was sitting here, so. Right, because I got up to go to the bathroom, <laughs> but this is my seat. 
I think there's an empty one over there. I don't care. I paid for first class, so I kind of want to sit in my first class seat. I've been sitting here this whole time. Okay, you're literally sitting next to my husband. Well, how am I supposed to know he's your husband? He's sleeping. I don't see how that matters. Ma'am, would you mind taking your seat? We can't have the walkways blocked. Yeah, go back to your seat. I don't know who this woman is, but she just decided that she's gonna sit here, so I need her to move. Ugh, it doesn't matter where you sit. We're going to the same destination. If it doesn't matter, then go back to your seat. Ma'am, can I see your ticket? I'm not able to do that. My ticket was set on fire. Okay, well, I have my ticket, and it says that I'm in this seat. Okay, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to get up. No, 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 you can't just ask a stranger to do physical activities. You don't even know. I am sore from Pilates and I have to rest, okay? Then how did you get from your seat to mine? Um, newsflash, there's something called delayed soreness from Pilates and I have that now. Ma'am, I will call security. Good, good, I want them to come. I want them to see what's happening here, that someone is forcing another individual who can't stand to stand. If you go back to your seat, I'll get you an ice cream sandwich. Well, I'll... Have you know that that is a, a great compromise. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you. No problem. She's not getting that ice cream sandwich. And I'll just need to see some form of ID for this. What? No, I've purchased alcohol here many times. I think you guys know how old I am. Oh, well, the computer makes me scan the ID, so. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm old enough. Okay, no worries. I'll just still need to scan your ID. <sighs> that seems extremely inappropriate. Sorry? My ID has all my personal information on there, which means you don't get to see it. Okay, no worries, I just can't sell this to you then. Okay, I, I clearly I'm over 21 years old. I mean, look at this jacket. Well, I never want to assume, and plus it makes me scan it. I've never heard of that. That's preposterous. Okay, well, that's the law. Well, I won't be participating in your merry-go-round of nonsense today. Sounds good. Have a nice day. Please ring me up just as soon as you give me that ID. Oh, you are single-handedly making my life more difficult. Okay, you know what? How old are you? Old enough. For what? To party? <clears throat> Is she gone? Ugh! Lily John, I thought you left. No, she believes everything Amberjack says, so I knew she wouldn't actually take the time to look for me. If I didn't know your mom, I'd probably be more mad at you, but I can empathize. Trust me, I know. So when are you gonna leave? As soon as you do, Connor. Bro, what's your issue? I don't have an issue. This is my sister. Yeah, and she's my girlfriend. What's going on? Why is everybody up at 5 a.m.? Hi. Hi, what are you? Who are you? Lily John, this is my roommate, Cilantra. Cilantra, this is my stepsister, Lily John, and we were just leaving. What? Where are we going? We are getting out of here. This is the only place your mom knows in Florida, and I don't want to be here when she shows back up. Okay, can we get food? There's a breakfast place on campus. Let's go. Avery, do you think I could stay with you? You are staying with me. No, I mean like forever. Why? What's wrong with your dad and my mom? Nothing. Then why did you run away from them? I didn't mean to run away from them. I mean, whether you meant to or not, you... Kinda did though. I I just wanted to figure out me. Yeah, I hear you. I do miss them though. Well, what I think we should do is get to the restaurant and call them. What? No, they're gonna be so mad. Are you kidding? Your mom is the scariest and I just faced her alone. I think you can talk to your dad. You're right. Just take a deep breath and we'll call. <sighs> okay. Sorry, road's closed. Beep beep. Coming through. No, you can't go this way. You're gonna have to turn around. Unfortunately, I have to get through to get to my appointment. Okay, just take the detour route. It'll take you one road over and you'll be on your way. My GPS is telling me to go straight. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't account for the construction. So if you just turn around, unfortunately, my car will only go straight. I just saw you come around the corner. Okay, well, thank you. Have a nice day. Okay, you as well. Turn around. Sorry, no time to lose. Look, I don't want to make you late for your appointment, so you'll have to go another way. I'm no longer going to my appointment. Okay, well, it doesn't really matter where you're going. It when is the tour guide coming? The, the what? The tour guide for the detour. What? No, 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 a detour is just an alternative route to take. I call shotgun. You'll be in your own car. No, it's okay. Okay, ma'am, you're officially starting to block my construction crew here. <laughs> So if you could please back up. Sorry, my car doesn't go that way. You know, I don't believe you. Unfortunately, I'll still be attending my appointment, so I gotta go. Great, go the other way. Are, are you gonna drive? Drive what? I have to sleep right here, because if I sleep anywhere else, I'll literally be up all night with like nightmares. So you can probably sleep like right on the floor next to me. You have a sleeping bag, right? No, I forgot it. Uh, You don't have like a pillow or a blanket? No, I don't. Um, I guess I could find you something. I got you a couple options. So I have this. It's it's my dog's toy, so it does squeak. But also I have this. I haven't used it, I promise. It's a duster, but it's kind of soft. And like, I feel like maybe you can fidget with it while you're sleeping. Um, I mean, do you have like a real pillow? Um, 
I mean, I guess. Hold on. I feel like you could probably just like get in this and it'll be like a little bed. No. So you should be good now, right? Uh, I just need a blanket. <sighs> All right, hold on. Found you a blanket. This is actually my favorite one because it can actually like link between your toes and it keeps all parts of you warm because it's from nature. So it's supposed okay, to Okay, whatever. Can I just have some water? All right, hold on. This is the only water bottle we have left and it's clean, so. Ew. You know. I mean, you should be good. Can you come out here, please? Your Aunt Julie's here. She's always hiding. That's okay. Oh, hey, Aunt Julie, I didn't know you were here. Oh, well, she was probably avoiding you. She didn't want to have to hear all your drama. <laughs> oh, stop, stop. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna ignore that. Uh oh, look, she's already bad at me. <laughs> what did I do? She always gets so mad, she's so emotional. I need to get her into a therapist. Oh, a therapist? Well, yeah, I'm concerned. What's wrong with you? Huh, okay, that's funny, because when I asked to see a therapist, you said you don't believe in therapy, so. <laughs> I never said that. Oh, you never said that? Okay, well then let's go to therapy together. Well, I'm not the one that needs therapy. Oh, you don't need therapy because the reason I need therapy is because you need therapy but won't get it. Uh, ex hold on. And just for the record, the only drama in my life is you. Look, I try to be nice to her and she literally attacks me. Oh my gosh. Why don't we all just play a game of spoons? And Julie, for the love of God, just drink your wine. Okay. Okay, you know what? You've officially lost it. You are out of control. We're your family and you're actually lashing out at us for wanting to what, talk to you? Familiar? <laughs> Do you hear this? This is why we've gone through an entire eight bottles of wine. And this is why I have crippling anxiety, depression, and diminished self-esteem, so thanks. We just got little jackets for our cows, so. Okay. I'm here for the job interview. Great, and which position were you interviewing for? The interview. Right, well, what time was your interview? Um, today? With who? <coughs> Did you hear my question? Should I sit? Yeah, no, I'm gonna need a little bit more detail if you want me to help you here. Like what? Like what position you're interviewing for? What time is it? 3.23? No, sorry, I'm not available at that time. Okay, um, I, I have no idea what's happening. When will the interview start? Whenever you tell me who the hell you are and why you're here. No, thank you. Okay, wonderful. Well, in that case, you can go. Can I reschedule? For what? My interview. I just told you. Okay, I'm sorry. Did someone call you to schedule an interview or did you come in here just trying to schedule a random interview? Exactly. Okay, that doesn't answer my question. Okay. You know what? What time do you want your interview to be? Um, it depends. I'm not really available. Great, so did I just not put down a time? I could do Saturday at 8. Saturday at 8? Great, I'll go ahead and jot that down and uh, it'll be a phone interview so we'll call you. Don't call us. At 8? Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. Sorry, I'm not available. Oh, what the f***? Mom, are you mad? Get in the car. Well, the last time you drove while you were mad, you literally smashed into my school. Just get in the car. Goodbye, life. Now, where's your sister? I told you, mom, I don't know. Don't even, I know you know. You guys ran away here together. Where were you gonna go? Mm-mm. Amberjack, remember that Xbox at my house? Mm-hmm. In two seconds, I can make a phone call and have Harold smash it. Harold wouldn't do that. <laughs> if he knows what's good for him, he'll listen to me. Now, where is she? Um, well, she might have mentioned... Come on, come on, I don't have time for this. Spill it. Okay, she's going to St. Petersburg. What? I don't know, that's just what she said before she left, that she has to get there. And how is she gonna get... Where are you guys getting money? Your credit card. What? Nothing. Amberjack, the Xbox? Fine, she has your credit card. Of course she does. Well, I'm gonna turn that off right now. Mom, I'm really sorry. Oh, sweetheart, you're gonna be. Ooh. So what's in St. Pete? Who? What's in St. Why is she going there? Hold on, if you want more answers, you have to get me something. Oh, is that so? Yes. Okay, fine. Harold, smash the Xbox. No, please just do it. Harold, Her I don't care. <laughs> it's done. What just happened? You said you wanted something, so I gave you a smashed Xbox. Really, Mom? What? You just destroyed the only leverage that you had on me. Now I have no reason to tell you anything. Oh. Now my lips are sealed. You already told me enough. Double sealed. Sorry, but it looks like the card you gave me isn't a debit or a credit card. Oh, it's a gift card. Oh, okay, well this is not a gift card for our restaurant. What do you mean? Uh, well it looks like it might be for Olive Garden. Okay, we'll see you're not at Olive Garden, you're at the restaurant I never named. Oh, that's okay, just go ahead and run it. No, no, I'm telling you, the card won't even work in our system. Uh-oh, is your system down? No, no, I, no, it's just that your card won't do anything in our system. 
Well, then why do you sell them? We sell gift cards that work in our restaurant, but this one is for Olive Garden. There's supposed to be like $25 on there and you can spend all of that at Olive Garden, but in the meantime, I'm gonna need another form of payment. But someone gave me that as a birthday present. Hmm, okay. How do I get the money off of it if you won't run the card? Okay, you can only use it at Olive Garden. You cannot use it here, it will not work. Well, can you call them to see if their banking is working? It's it's not a banking issue. It's a card with a set amount on it. So then can I use that amount? Sure, at Olive Garden. Well, that's confusing. Do you have another card you wanna use? No. So then how do you intend to pay for this? Um, I, I mean, I guess we could use this one. Great, thank you. This is a Dave and Buster's card. Yeah, I think there's like 1600 points on there. Okay. Oh, can we stop and get food? I'm so hungry. Food, Dude, we just ate. Yeah, like two hours ago. Yeah, exactly. How are you still hungry? Because I just am, okay? So can we stop and get food? Okay, I'm only saying this because I care about you, but you should really watch what you eat. Excuse me? I mean, okay, I'm not trying to be like fat phobic or anything like that. I'm just saying like strictly from a health perspective, if you eat bad things frequently, you could cause like so many health issues. So I'm just concerned about your health. Oh, you know what? Totally forgot you're studying nutrition. I'm not studying nutrition. Oh, in that case, you must have my doctor records, right? You know exactly about my particular bill of health. Well, I can just assume based on how you eat because everyone's body is made up the exact same way, right? I'm just trying to help. Hmm, well, shaming me for how frequently I eat is actually the least helpful thing I've ever experienced. So go to McDonald's and get me some fries. Fine. Can I have some? I know, I know, but hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Hey babies, it's me, Kenzie K, and we're having a girls' night! Woo! We are downtown! Oh, and say hi to our server. Please don't film me. Oh, what the hell? You totally just messed that whole thing up. We have to start over. No, 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 sorry, no. I don't have time for whatever it is that you're doing. Did you want a table? Uh-oh. I guess I'll be using hashtag Karen in this video. Go right ahead, I'm just trying to do my job. Babies, we have an official Karen in the wild here who is refusing to serve me. That is incorrect, I'm just trying to do my job. Say something racist. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna ask you to move aside so I can help the people behind you. <laughs> Honey, as soon as I hit post on this video, your job is over. If only. Your Wi-Fi in here sucks. Yeah, well, this isn't Starbucks. Okay, are you gonna get us a table? I need to know how many people are in your party. Five, there's five of us, can you not count? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. <laughs> mm -hmm. That'll be a 20 minute wait. Oh, well, I don't know if you heard when I was coming in, but I'm Kenzie K from Instagram. Okay, was that the name you wanted me to put on the wait list? No, 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 I just mean, I don't need to wait. <laughs> Why? I told you it wouldn't work. Shh, because I'm Kenzie K. Sorry, I'm not familiar with your work. No, that's that's literally like impossible because I'm all over the internet. So just Instagram. And I created an NFT. Neat, your table will be ready in 20 minutes. <laughs> Did you hear? She's gonna make us wait the 20 minutes. No, I, hold on, hold on. Story time, babies. I've been denied service just because Excuse me, ma'am, sorry to bother you. Yeah, hi. This is gonna sound really weird, but there's been some complaints from the customers that there is an animal in here. Uh-oh, I know, right? And some people have been saying that they saw it with you, so me, really? Yeah, so I just have to ask, did you bring an animal in here? No, definitely not, no. I didn't think so, it's just that... I'm sorry, what is that? What is what? I, I don't know how to tell you this, but there's a literal rat on your shoulder. What? Oh, it's just Buttons, she's my little buddy. Okay, so you do have an animal in here. No, I like to think of her as a friend. Okay, is she a service animal? She's just my little shopping partner. I'm gonna take that as a no. You know, she's a little tired anyway, so I'm gonna just put her away. Okay, well, thanks for putting her away. Was there anything else I could do for you? Is that another rat? Where? Okay, ma'am, we're not doing this again. Hi, mom. Oh, hi. Where were you the first time I called? Well, I just got back to my car. I had a yoga class at the gym. You're really gonna rub that in my face? What? You know that I have a bad knee and I can't do yoga. Why would you even bring it up? Well, you... I, is there a reason you called? Do I need a reason? Your brother calls me every day. Yeah, and I come over every Sunday for dinner. Well, it's not because you want to see me. I know you only come over here to see the dog. Look, I've just been really busy with work. This is the best I can do. The best you can do is put your family last. Okay, but if I don't go to work, I can't help you pay your electricity every month. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm such a burden to you. I'm sorry that if they shut off my electricity, I'll probably die in this house and no one will know because my kids never call me. I don't know what you want me to say to that. <sighs> Hello? No, shh. I think there's someone breaking into my house. What? Um, okay, call the police. No, no, you need to get over here right away. I'm on the other side of town. It'll be way faster if you just- See? I knew you would do nothing. I knew you wouldn't care if my life was potentially in danger. Wait, what? What? Don't ever call me or anyone in the family for that matter. You called me. 
You know, if your father was here, he'd be so disappointed in you. Oh, you know what? I just drove into a lake. <laughs> Uh-uh-uh, excuse me, Mrs. Jones's class. Why is it that I can hear you all the way down the fifth grade hallway right now? Uh, my class. Mrs. Jones had to step out into the hallway to take an emergency phone call. And she trusted that her fifth grade students would be able to be by themselves for a few moments and get their work done. But you have shown nothing but blatant disrespect. Hands down, my class is right in the middle of testing. So we're quiet down there and we can hear every single one of you. This is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. You are about to go to middle school. That means that you need to be an adult. Right now, you are all showing me that you're not ready. Ladies, mm -mm, you're not ready. If we are not mature enough to be able to get our work done in the classroom at school, I don't think we're mature enough to have a pizza party on no. Friday. No. Nope. We're so sorry. Oh, don't apologize to me. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. You should be apologizing to my students and everyone else in this hallway who's trying to take a test right now. Uh, excuse me, why are my students up out of their- All right, baby, I gotta let you go. Sorry I'm late, it was work. <laughs> a little nervous about coming tonight. I don't typically date the curvier females, but you're actually attractive. Yeah, like my ex, she was really thin, <laughs> but uh, crazy, crazy. Yeah, darling, I'll do a Budweiser, and for the lady over here, we'll do a White Claw. Oh, no, I'll do a Margarita. Well, I'm paying, don't worry about it, we'll do the White Claw. Hey, sweetheart. So, uh, you're a teacher, or what uh, no, was it? No, not at all. Uh -huh. Actually, I work- Yeah, so I work- Hey, you guys got the score? Hello? What do you like to do? Ugh. Is this a Budweiser? No, no, darling, I asked for a Heineken. No, yeah, thanks, you just- Jesus. I definitely learned a lot from walking around town. You got a phone call, or- Oh, your mom. She call a lot? Oh. I said medium well. Lift about 2,000. What was that? Waitress. You know, I'm convinced that only ugly females wear that much makeup. But but yours looks really good. Waitress. Oh my God, dumb bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, they lost, dude. Oh, oh let me get you another no, one. No, thank you. That's okay, we'll keep drinking. That's on me. So you want to head back to my place? No. But I paid for your food. Oh, what a cute dog. Yeah, my husband got her for me about a week ago. That's so sweet. What's her name? Uh, Refund, hopefully, because that's what I'm looking for. Oh, you're returning her? Yeah, I think there's something wrong with her. What do you mean? Well, she doesn't listen. <laughs> well, she is a puppy. I mean, she's an animal. She should know to go to the bathroom outside. Yeah, that is something they have to learn. But we do have puppy training classes. I mean, if they're free, that's fine, but I'm not paying any more for this dog. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out. And I don't want any store credit either. I want it all in cash. Great, well, we'll make sure she finds her forever home. Okay, whatever. Do you have any cats? Nope. <laughs> you're a shelter, but you don't have cats? Not for you. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, it just means you're no longer allowed to adopt any animals from here. Excuse me? Well, it doesn't seem like you're ready for this kind of commitment and we wanna make sure our pet owners are ready to take on an animal and take care of them. Well, I've never seen a dog before that doesn't know how to sit or lie down. Have you ever adopted a dog as a puppy? No. And how did you think they learned appropriate behaviors? They just know them. No, no, you need to train them. Well, I'm not doing that. I know, that's why you're not adopting another animal. Hey. Hey, you ready for this? What do you mean? Like, did you study? Study for what? Are you serious? For the test. What test? Like today? Like in this class? Yeah. Like right now? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. Did you study? Yeah, did you? No, I didn't. No. I didn't even know. What chapter is this on? 12 or 8? Oh my god, I'm freaking out. All right, class. Let's get ready for the test. I'm gonna fail. No, I'm totally gonna fail this. And you may begin. Oh my god, I already don't even know the first question. Shh. Okay, time's up. Turn in your test. <gasps> that was so hard. Yeah, I have no idea. Did you even get number two? No. No, it was so confusing. Yeah, I totally had to guess for like the first five and then the last five I just like filled in random words for the blank. I totally just failed that. My GPA is gonna drop like 20 points, I swear. All right, I'm handing back your tests. Oh no. I don't even want to look. Ah, what'd you get? You got a 74? Yeah. And you didn't even study? Oh my god, that's so good. I'm so embarrassed. I did so bad. What'd you get? I'm not gonna tell you. I got a 97. I thought you didn't know the material. Oh, I don't. I seriously just guessed on all of these. I literally don't even know how I got this score. Yeah, right. No, I literally never even opened my textbook. You should ask your mom if I can sleep over. She won't let me on a school night. Are you serious? My mom would totally not care. Your mom is so mean. My parents let me do whatever I want. I don't know why your mom is such a dictator about your life. Whatever. Oh, your mom's coming. You should ask her. No, she'll just get mad. Ask her. Hi, ladies. What are we up to? Ask. No, I'm not gonna ask. Fine. Um, Mrs. Jordan, I was just wondering if I could sleep over tonight. No, not on the school night. But it really won't be that big of a deal. No. Okay, but you didn't let me sleep over last time either, so you kind of owe me. And me and Sam are having so much fun, we don't want to split up. Please let me stay. Please. No, not tonight. Sam wants me to stay, right, Sam? No. And my mom, like, wouldn't care at all. Okay, well, don't be surprised if Sam never wants to talk to you again. What? No, I don't want to go home now. Why are you threatening me? Your, your mom is so mean. My mom would never say anything like that. She literally gives us candy, like me and my friends, so... I don't even want to stay here. Your parents scare me. That's why my mom doesn't like her. 
No one ever helps around this house. Don't touch this. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry, I got it. I got all the laundry while you guys watch your, your games and your TV and your sports. I Mom, do you need help? No, no, no. No one helps me around this house. Nope, I got it. I got it. <sighs> Who touched this? No, 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 just leave it. Just leave it there. No, 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 no. Don't touch anything. Why are there dishes in the sink? Has anyone let the dog out or am I the only one that takes care of her? This is why we have roaches. Don't touch the, no, I got this, seriously, no. What is this? I thought I cleaned all of this up. No, I already got it, no, I got it. No, 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 by all means, you keep playing your game. What? Are these your dirty clothes on the floor? I don't understand why you can't put them in the laundry. Am I the only person that knows how to use the washer and dryer? What's wrong with this TV, it doesn't work. You have to turn it on. No, it just doesn't work. Gotta deal with hey that. mom, I just cleaned the bathroom. You did what? I just wanted to help you that out. That bathroom since... in there? Yeah. What did you use? Uh, Windex. Oh no, 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 no! You can't use that. This house is a mess. Sorry, I'm late. Ah, uh, ow. Uh, um, is your uh, arm okay? Oh, um, can't tell anyone. It's actually a big secret, but I actually got a tattoo. Yeah, no, like a real one. Do you want to see it? Sure. Yeah, the tattoo artist basically told me that I did such a good job. He said this was like the most painful spot for someone to get a tattoo and I did like so good. Okay, you can't laugh. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is like significant meaning to me and my family. So like you need to take this seriously, okay? Oh yeah, sure. Um, It's just a moon? No, it's actually not just a moon. There's a lot of background and significant meaning to this. It actually is a symbol and representation of my soul. Christopher, what are you looking at? Stop. Oh my God, they're so nosy. He wasn't even looking. But yeah, anyway. I'll probably go back and get like 12 more. It's seriously so addicting. No, of course my mom doesn't know. I got it from her ex-boyfriend's ex-boyfriend. It was the whole thing. No, it didn't hurt. I kind of liked it. It felt good. I know I'm weird. I have such a high tolerance for pain. Hashtag tatted. <laughs> I know the answer. Stop looking. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, thank God. It looks like there's someone selling illegal contraband in my neighborhood. So I just need someone to come out here and take care of that. Thank you. Okay, do you mind giving me some more information about the situation? Yes, yeah, so when I was driving home from aerobics, I had an individual stop me and ask if I wanted to buy anything. And I was like, oh, I don't know. This seems kind of sketchy. But she insisted. She said she could even get me like a neighborhood discount or something like that. So needless to say, that it just seems a little odd. Okay, and what is it that they were offering you? That would be lemonade. Lemonade? Is that like a new term for crack? Oh, no, no, no. You see, my son is selling lemonade for school, so he's always out front making his cute little sales, but the little girl across the street decided she wants to sell the same thing, and I don't think she has a license, so... Wait, what? Basically, she's invading on our territory. She's selling the same product, and he can't make his sales, so how do we take care of that? Sure, let me just get some more information from you. Hello? Hi, can I take your order? Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead with the order. Is this the place with barbecue sauce? Uh, yes, we have barbecue. No, thank you. O okay, just then let me know when you're ready to order. Okay. I'm ready. Great, what can I get you? I'll take the barbecue. Okay, uh, which barbecue item? The sauce. Okay, so you just want barbecue sauce? No. Okay, what else would you like to add to your order? A drink. Okay, which drink? I said two cheeseburgers. But Okay, did you want the drink? Just the two cheeseburgers. Okay, I got the cheeseburgers. Did you want the drink? Um, sorry, not today. Okay, will that complete your order? Should I come inside? No, you can just drive up to the window. When will it be available? Y you're at a drive-thru, you can just pull up and get it now. Unfortunately, I'm not available, so I can't. Okay, uh, what is that supposed to mean? <sighs> Do you take credit cards? Yes. Okay, no thank you, have a nice day. <sighs> Thought you were leaving. Hello. No, 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 no. Hey, mom. What is it, Bella? Yeah, I just, I wanted to introduce you to my boyfriend. Boyfriend? You just moved here! <laughs> mom, this is Edward. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Are you guys on drugs? I just want Bella to be happy. Okay, and how did you two meet? Mom, <laughs> he goes to my school. Mm-hmm. And why is he looking at me like that? And what is his name again? Edward. Edward? I haven't heard anyone name their child that since like the Spanish influenza period. <sighs> Mom. And what are, where are you guys going tonight? What are you doing? I was gonna take Bella to play baseball with my family. Is that a euphemism? Bella doesn't even play baseball. Mom. <sighs> and Alexa, isn't it supposed to rain? My family and I only play in the rain. Bella, didn't you almost get like gang banged the other day and now you're telling me you're gonna go to some field with this creepy boy? What's going on? Mom, I have my pepper spray. 
No, <laughs> you're not going out, boy. It was very nice meeting you, Edward. It was very nice meeting you too. Oh, your hands are freezing. What, what's wrong with you? I got like an ice burn, freak. Mom, you can't just talk to my boyfriend like that. Like ever, ever, ever again. Oh, what what the hell, Bella? Who is this guy? The freaking snow miser? First you have Jacob over here breaking my thermostat. It's so goddamn sweaty. And now this snow freak? No, he's got to go. Were his eyes always black? Yeah, he's just hungry. Those two things don't correlate for normal people. <laughs> that was rude, get out. Hi there, welcome in. Oh, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Hey folks. Um, excuse me. Oh, hi. There is someone sitting at my table. What do you mean? I come here every Wednesday and I sit right there, but you put someone at my table. What? Did you have a reservation? I mean, it's, it's like a known thing that I come every Wednesday and I sit right there, so. I'm sorry, I've never seen you before. So are you gonna ask them to scoot over a table? No, we have plenty of open seats if you need a table, but I want that one. That one's not available, but I know a manager. Okay, maybe next time you should coordinate with them because I can't sit you there. Fine. We have open seats at the bar. Why would you even suggest that? Because you're just standing there staring at me. I'm waiting for my table. Okay, can you do it over there? No. Great. Hi folks, welcome in. Party of four? All right, right this way. Um, have I not been waiting here? I don't know what you're doing. Did you want a table? No. Hey, did you get the mail? Uh, excuse me? Hello? I'm asking you a question. Oh, hey mom. Oh, now you can hear me. Yeah, sorry, I had my headphones on. Well, why is the volume that loud that you can't even hear me? Because I was in here by myself and no one was talking to me. Well, what if I had fallen and gotten hurt? You wouldn't have been able to hear me. Well, that didn't happen, so what were you gonna ask me? You didn't hear me ask you? No, I had headphones on. What are you listening to? Music. Huh, why aren't you reading a book? Because I'm listening to music. Why can't you do something productive? Because sometimes after being productive, I don't want to be productive. So you're gonna answer my question? What question? <sighs> Samantha, did you or did you not get the mail? Yeah, it's right in front of you. Well, I didn't see it. Mm. Well, apparently you didn't see my giant headphones either. That's it, give them to me. What? Come on, it is a privilege to wear headphones in the house and you've proven that you're not responsible, so give it. What? Hey everybody. Hey Sam. Has it been busy today? Uh, not too bad. <clears throat> cool, I'm gonna go put my stuff in the back and I'm gonna clock in. Can I ask a question? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me one moment, I'm gonna go clock in and then my question is not about clocking in. Okay. I'm just curious as to why you're having this unprofessional conversation in front of a customer. Improfessional? Talking about how you don't like the customers here and how you hate working here and you put your dirty bag all over my food. It's all over my food, so now I can't even eat that. Ma'am, I just got to work. Well, maybe work is what you should be doing because the steak is not cooked how I like it. Okay, and you can let your server know or I can help you once I get back. And so what, I'm just supposed to sit here in the meantime? Yeah, isn't that what you were doing anyway? You know, you're just a, a bitch. Yes, and that is Miss Bitch to you, Karen. So you can either wait or you can get out. I'll wait. Okay. Wanna go for a walk or something? I can't, I have to ice my foot. Didn't you already do that this morning? Yeah, I have to do it a few times a day and I can't put any pressure on it for 24 hours. I don't think your doctor discouraged you from exercising. It's just for today until my foot feels better. <laughs> he did not say that. Yes, he did. Sweetheart, that doesn't make any sense. I've never not put pressure on something because it hurts. Yeah, but you're constantly complaining about being in pain. Honey, I was there. He said you can start walking on it today. No, he, d you know what? I'm just gonna call. <laughs> okay. Thank you for calling the doctor's office. How can I help you? Hi, I was just wondering when the doctor said I could walk on my foot again. Sure, yeah, he said 24 hours. 24 hours? You rest up and stay off that foot. Okay, thank you. 24 hours. Well, that's not what I heard. They just confirmed. Well, when we were there, that's not what he said. Mom, everyone is on the same page except for you. That's what he said. Okay, well, I guess if you want to be lazy, you can stay here. They just told you. You know, sometimes it's okay to be wrong. Yeah, sometimes it is okay to be wrong. I just don't understand why you have to challenge me on everything. I, whatever. That's what I thought. Hi there, what can I do for you? I need to have a wedding. Well, that's exciting, congratulations. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea on when you'd want your wedding to be? Um, yeah. Perfect! When were you thinking? Somewhere between 8? Oh, I'm sorry, I meant more of what time of year. The morning. Uh, great! So you're thinking morning, so like maybe a cooler weather, like the fall time? Saturday. Right, uh, you know, let's start from the beginning and get some more info out of you. What's your name? No, thank you. What was that? Your name? What? Uh, what's the name of your significant other? Um, purple. 
purple. The cake should be purple. Okay, you know, I'm actually kind of having some confusion here. So would you mind if I actually sent over a questionnaire and you can just fill it out that way? Sure, but at that time I won't be available, unfortunately. That's okay, you can just fill it out whenever you're available. When's the wedding? Ah, well that is completely up to you, but I already sent the invitations. Oh, okay, so you kind of already have an idea of some of the details. It's already been planned. Thank you. Hello? Hello. What is happening? Have a nice day. Ugh. Oh, I think that's actually my bag. Oh, and is there a reason your bag is in the first class compartment? Yes, because I'm sitting here. I can tell by experience that this is not a first class bag. And I didn't see you walk up when they called priority. I don't care what you saw. I need you to take your hand off my bag. Well, it is gigantic. It is taking up so much room. It's no bigger than anyone else's. You can scoot it over if you need to, but you can't just put it on the floor. It doesn't matter. What do you mean it doesn't matter? I'm responding to your point. This, the whole reason we're talking about this is because of you. There's no need to get hostile. I'm an experienced flyer and I'm trying to help you. Calm down. I will calm down when you sit down and stop touching my things. I'm not touching your things. You're literally holding my bag. You know what, you wanna be like that? Ow! Really? Which one of you just chucked a suitcase at a passenger? That would be her bag. That would be her throw. Perfect. Momentarily, we will be escorting you off the plane. Am I being upgraded to a private jet for my inconvenience? Yes, with big, bright, shiny blue lights on it. Let's go. Loser. <laughs> uh, excuse me. It is 1007. What is what what is the issue? I don't understand why we're up and moving around and laughing and giggling in the middle of the night. Ladies, enough. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Girls, I am not going to tell you again. And I will be happy to call any of your mothers to come pick you up right now. No. I don't care what time it is. I'm not doing this. This is my house and you are showing me blatant disrespect. Turn the music off. If I hear you one more time, everyone is going home. Every single one. I don't even want to hear it. Good night. Sorry. <laughs> shh, shh. Go to sleep. Shh. Okay. I've tried to be nice. So you know what? Now I have to babysit you. I'm going to wait right here. <coughs> She's still Shh. Oh, good morning, ladies. I'm making you guys some pancakes. Does that sound good? Yeah. We loved having you. Go sit down. Thank you. Hi, I just want to make you aware that my son is going to be sitting over there by himself while I run some errands. Okay, so if he needs anything, I told him he can come ask you and you'll be able to help him. Oh, well, I, I get off in 20 minutes, so I- Oh, that's fine. I don't really care who watches him, just as long as someone's keeping an eye on him over there. Okay, but how long are you gonna be gone? He looks pretty young. Oh, it shouldn't be more than like three hours. Okay, ma'am, no one here is gonna be able to be responsible for your child. No, 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 you don't have to do anything besides just make sure that he's okay over there. Right, but I can't babysit your child while I'm preoccupied doing a totally different job. No one here is gonna be able- You won't even know he's there. He's very independent. Is there a reason you can't bring him with you? Because he's an absolute handful. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't. I just need you to make sure he doesn't get hurt or kidnapped. He has something to drink, just the easy stuff. Ma'am, I said no. Seriously, it's that big of a deal. You can't just do me a favor. Seriously, you can't watch your own child. You're rude. Do you think I can borrow one of your outfits? Yeah, of course. Just go into my closet and grab whatever you want. Thank you. Do you have like a blue top or something? Yeah, definitely. If you find something you like, you can use it. Sweet, you're the best. Um, is everything okay? Everything in here is black. What? No, I have some color in there. No, seriously, every single piece of clothing you own is black. That's not true. Are you kidding? I mean, I have something blue in there. You just gotta look really hard. I looked through everything. This is all you have. Well, that black dress is cute. Yeah, but you're wearing a black dress. Well, yeah, it's the only color I have. Come on, Brandon, you got this. Thanks, Mom. Woo, let's go, Brandon. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Oh, everyone is so supportive here. That's so sweet. Ma'am, do you mind keeping politics out of this? We're just trying to watch a kid's game. What, what are you talking about? Let's go, Brandon. We're all just trying to enjoy the game. I don't know why you had to start that. Oh, no, 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 Brandon's my kid. Everyone's just being so supportive. No, they're not trying to support your kid. It's a Donald Trump thing. What? Yeah, it's a thing they do, I don't know. Let's go, Brandon. No, 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 everybody, shh. Let's go, Brandon. Seriously, please, I really didn't want to. Wow, everyone loves me. No, 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 sweetheart, they don't love you. What? Just keep playing, it's okay. Let's go, Brandon. It's okay, shut up. Mom, what did I do? What do we think? G guys, I need to start seeing some hands. I need volunteers, come on. Wake up. I can get the sticks. 
I was hoping I wouldn't have to use those at this point in the year, but I can do it. Okay. You guys are going into fourth grade and we're still using sticks. Not good. Tori, what do you think? What? Guys, do you hear the volume I'm using to speak? I need you to match my volume because I'm all the way up here and you're all over the classroom. I cannot hear you. So I need you to speak up. No, you cannot go to the bathroom. Guys, you should be using the restroom before class. You should never be asking me in class to go to the bathroom. Christopher, why don't you give it a go? You shouldn't be flipping through the book. No, it's not on your friend's face either. They're not gonna help you. If you did the assignment. Oh, hi, are you Billiam's mom? Yes, I'm glad you finally found time to meet with me. I have some serious concerns about my son, Billiam. Oh, well, he's doing really well. Hold on. We were working on his language arts homework and I noticed he was learning about pronouns. Yes, we're moving into grammar this week. Don't you think that's inappropriate? I don't understand. My little Billiam is way too young to be learning about such things. Well, he's about to go to middle school. This is just basic grammar. Hold on, I'm texting his father. I don't understand why these schools seem to be so progressive nowadays. When I was in school, we learned about education and I turned out fine. Okay, well, you definitely learned about pronouns in school. Well, back in the day, we used to learn by reading directly out of a dictionary. So where are you getting this outlandish curriculum? So you're telling me you don't know what pronouns are? Of course I know what pronouns are. All the parents are talking about it and it's inappropriate for the classroom. Should I also stop teaching verbs and adjectives? Um, as long as the verb is appropriate. I'm so glad you got to sleep over last night. I had so much fun. I know, I can't wait to hang out all day today. Yeah, totally. What time are you getting picked up? I don't know, I have all day open so I can stay all day. Oh, fun. <laughs> I know, right? So what do you want to do today? Uh, oh, we can watch a movie. Yeah, we watched like four last night. We could jump on your trampoline. I'm kind of tired. Oh, well, you should tell your mom to drive us to the mall. Well, usually my mom takes me to the pool on Sundays, so. Oh, awesome, I brought my bathing suit. Oh, okay, you're you're gonna come to the pool with us? Yeah, I love swimming. My mom never takes me. What time are we going? I'll, uh, I'll have to ask. Oh, do you think I could borrow some extra clothes? Yeah, totally. Cool, oh, what if my mom lets me sleep over again? Oh. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You should tell your mom to make mac and cheese for dinner. I'll let her know. Can I have this? What? I'm telling you, they're not here. Oh, really? Well, then what is this purple string of hair doing here? Um, mom? Amberjack, thank God. I thought she had you chopped up in a fridge somewhere. What? And where's your sister? Um, she's not here. Amberjack, don't play games with me. I know you're not the one that came up with this. Where is she? I'm telling you, mom, she's not here. Oh, okay, so you're telling me it's a coincidence I found purple hair. Oh, uh, well, she was here. There were definitely two kids here. Connor, go get your sister. I know she's here, and if I have to go get her, she's never seeing daylight again. Mom, she's not here. What are you talking about? She left. Where did she go? I don't know. When she heard mom knocking at the door, she ran off. Jesus, well, you're coming with me. We're gonna go find her. Yeah, I'll help. No, 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 Avery. You and your family have done enough. Your family is directly responsible for what's going on. You are the reason my family is falling apart. How does that feel? Whoa. Excuse me? I'm the one that was actually helping your children. <laughs> we'll let the courts determine that. Amberjack, let's go. But mom, I, I said, let's go. We're leaving. Bye, Avery. Excuse me. Yeah, you have a question? Yeah, when are we going to close for the hurricane? <laughs> well, um, it's just something that we're going to have to, you know, talk about later. Fortunately for us, this building is able to withstand about 30 miles an hour wind, so there shouldn't be any problem. We don't need to close. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't come to work. Oh, well, I'm part of the emergency um, at home team, so that means that I do get to go home this week just because of the weather. But you guys, I know that you live in pretty close proximity, so shouldn't be too big of an issue. Actually, I live an hour away well um uh, maybe consider moving seriously um what do you mean they evacuated the schools for what this is a, a storm <laughs> this isn't a tornado it's a hurricane we're all gonna be okay rain does not equal no work if the roads are open you can drive on them i mean this is a great business opportunity it's just rain okay come on define hazard also those 20 jugs of water in the kitchen are for management only so please do not touch them Hey mom, can I show you something? What do you want to show me? It's what? just this really funny video on my phone. <sighs> well, I, I was about to go to bed. Okay, uh, well, hold on, let me find my glasses. I think I left them on the bed. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> they were in my pocket. Okay, what, what do you want to show me? What is this? Is this that clip talk app? What's going on? Wait, who, is this your friend? What is she? Oh, wait, I don't understand. What? Wait, who is this? Do you know them? Is that your teacher? It's James Charles. Oh, why are you following this, this man? <gasps> oh. What did I click on? Hold on. <laughs> what? Oh.
what is this? When did you take this photo? I don't know how I got here. Samantha, who is this texting you? Excuse me, I pay for this phone. Okay, you don't get to just snatch it out of my hands. It makes me think that you're hiding something. <gasps> Why do you swear so much? Oh, okay, okay, you know what? That's it, no. I'm not paying for this unlimited texting if you are gonna have such a vulgar mouth. Steve, do you know what she's doing? Come look at this, it's disgusting. Look, look what she's saying. Why are your, all your friends calling you a bad bitch? I knew that that phone was a problem. I knew we shouldn't have gotten her that phone. How we doing? Your food will be out shortly. Great. And when will you be bringing my hot towel? Your towel? Yes, the hot towels that are served before the gourmet meal. Oh, sorry, we're not that fancy. We don't have hot towels. Okay, but my, my hands are dirty. What am I supposed to do? Oh, well, our bathrooms are right over there if you need to wash your hands. Excuse me, that is unsanitary to go into a bathroom before eating. Right, well, we also have hand sanitizer up at the front. I am recovering from scoliosis. I don't need that anywhere near my body. <laughs> I am confused at that correlation, but no worries. I'm sorry, we just don't have hot towels. Okay. Are, are you taking my picture? Yep, and I'll be sending these over to the health department. Oh, okay. Server is refusing to give sanitary items in dirty restaurant. You know what, ma'am? I think we might actually have a hot towel in the back. Just give me one second. Thank you. God, the service here is... <gasps> oh! Was that hot enough for you? Honey, have you seen... What was that? No, 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 no. What was that? Yeah, roll up your sleeve. Roll it up. Samantha Nicole, what is on it's your left arm? It's just a tattoo, arm? see? Is it fake? Does your father know? Does it come off? No. I want you to go try. Go, go in Mom, the shower. it's not gonna come no, off. Just try. You just threw your whole life down the drain. Down the drain. Real nice. What am I supposed to tell grandma? What money did you use to pay for that? The allowance that I give you? Cause that's not what this is for. You expect people to want to hire you when your body looks like that? I, I don't, I don't understand. Are you not happy? What are you gonna do when your skin gets all wrinkly and old? It's just gonna look disgusting. Is this the manic bipolar thing? We'll talk about this later, okay? How did you, uh, did you, uh, where did you go, where did you get that? I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. What about your hand tattoo? This is, this is not, I thought I gave you a good life, but Apparently not. Oh my god, I look so ugly today. Do you have any makeup I could borrow? This is your makeup bag? Oh, it's so cute. This reminds me of a bag I used to have when I was in middle school when I actually used to shop at Claire's. Ew, I can barely get my hand in here. This thing is so tiny. Mine is like literally 5,000 times this size. I love that you have such cheap stuff. I've never even heard of these brands. Ew, it's so cute how you like don't clean your brushes. I feel like this is just like... Nothing. <laughs> I love that you have knockoff products. I feel like that should be illegal. <laughs> I'm gonna call the police on you. You gotta shop at Sephora. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I know that there's technically an Ulta in Target now, but it's not actually like name brand products. So like mine is nicer than this. It smells weird. Oh, I had this palette when I was a baby. Ew, your makeup is already making me break out. What is in that stuff? So you're coming out with us this weekend, right? Uh, what are you guys doing again? I've already told you three times. First, we're gonna get really drunk at Trevor's party and then we're gonna go to IHOP and order all the food and smash it against the windows. Oh, right, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna pass, but I hope you guys have a good time. Seriously, you didn't come out with us last week either. I know, I'm just not really feeling it lately. You're not feeling what? Our friendship? No, 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 it has nothing to do with you. I just, mentally, I just wanna stay home. I don't understand. You're gonna miss out on everything fun. These are the experiences you should be experiencing in life. Yeah, but I'm just as happy at home, so. Okay, but when you don't hang out with us, we all feel like you're not a good friend and you don't respect us. Okay, but you not respecting my boundaries kinda says a lot more about you than it does me. Excuse me, I'm inviting you out. I'm trying to include you. And I appreciate that. You're more than welcome to come over once you're done, but I don't wanna go out. Wow, have fun at home doing nothing. I'm not gonna be doing nothing. I'm gonna be watching the entire box set of Charmed for self-care purposes. Just suck it up and come out. Just do it for me. No, I'm not gonna sacrifice my mental health for you again. What, my mental health? Uh, you're just a bad friend. Ditto. <laughs> what does I don't understand mean? What, you need to tell me what that means specifically because I can't help you understand if you can't even tell me what you don't understand. I just didn't understand if I should use this equation or that equation. But when I explained it to you in class, what did I say? Well, I don't know, I didn't understand. Why are we spending so much time telling ourselves we don't understand instead of trying to understand? I don't know, me either but I still don't understand. Okay, and what I don't understand is when I'm teaching, I'm looking around, I see all my students looking at me, but I don't see you looking at me. I see you doodling on paper and writing and drawing. Yeah, but I'm still listening. We need to be listening with our ears and our eyes. Okay, well, can I stay after class or do some extra homework? Okay, so now you're asking me to take time out of my day to reteach this lesson to you because you weren't listening. I guess. 
I just don't know how to help you at this point in the year. Whatever. Not sure why you're always the only one. Oh, and I have a coupon. Okay, no problem. It should be right here. Got it. Oh, perfect. Okay. Wait, something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry. Wh where did you get this coupon? Oh, they, they were just handing them out around the corner. Oh, okay. I just have never seen a coupon like this before. Are you new here? That's that's understandable. Just ring it on up. Nope, not new here. I'm just confused because this is handwritten. It, it's probably one of those fonts that look like it's handwritten. No worries. Just put in the 20% off. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure who gave this to you, but this isn't a valid coupon. What are you talking about? Well, because you can't just make your own coupon on an index card with a Sharpie. <laughs> well, you should still honor it. It doesn't even say it's valid. It said it expired in January. What? Let me see. It's just right there. Oh, I see the problem. Hold on. There, it's valid. Just give it to me. I don't even care. You got an 86 on your history exam? Yeah. So what you're telling me is you just don't care about your future? I did the best I could. Okay, well your brother just got a 96 on his math exam, so I don't understand the excuse. So, because he's in remedial math. Uh, theater arts mathematics is not remedial. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're not blaming your brother because you can't get your life in order. I have all A's. Okay, and your brother has all A's too, but he also does ambidextrous club, juggling club, spy club, and he keeps it together. So? So? <laughs> Maybe you should try to be a little bit more like him. He just got charged with a DUI. Mom, she's making me feel bad about myself again. Why do you always have to do this? Me? We're just having a discussion. There's no need to get this emotional, okay? Defending myself is not emotional. Oh, okay. Is your life really that miserable? Whatever. Wait, where are you going? You don't want to spend time with us? <clears throat> well, all right, sweetheart. We, uh, we got to have a little chat. So, uh, the, uh... <clears throat> The last time we spoke, I had a bit of a hard time just accepting the, the fact that you had that that little female friend that, that you guys, whatever you want to call that, that you're doing. <sighs> now, I get it. I get it that you are calling it a relationship and that you guys are, are together for your little middle school phase that, that you're going I'm through. I'm literally 18. Oh, no, I know you're 18. I know. And, uh... I get it. I get it. I get wanting to do something that it's different than everyone else and wanting to stand out of the crowd. But as long as it doesn't go to the next level. What? Well, I, I am talking about the right of a man and woman to be able to, to come together and get married. And, and that's not something I can I can support on for you. <laughs> so as long as you Okay, but you've been divorced nine times. I'm sorry. I don't understand what that has to do with literally anything that we're discussing right here. I'm talking about you and your infringement on my right. Lynn, this bitch ain't... What is she doing here? Hi. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my gosh. Hi. Sorry. I just, I basically live here. Like I live next door and we're like best friends. We've been best friends forever. So I just like walk in. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, are you guys studying? Oh, is this your textbook? It's so cute. <laughs> Wait, do your parents know that she's here? Sorry. I just know her parents are really strict. So I just want to make sure everything's okay. You want to hit? Vapes aren't bad for you. In fact, this isn't even a vape. It's a jump drive. She probably didn't greet you at the door. She knows me, right? Not you. You guys mind if I watch TV? Oh, no, no. They don't mind if I put my feet all over the couch. They know me. When did you guys get this? You didn't even tell me. Is it fake? How long were you going to stay? Because her mom usually wants people out before dinner. Hey, I don't think I got paid this week. Uh-oh. Let's see what the issue is here. Did you set up your direct deposit? Yeah. I did all of that when I started last week. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it looks like we put your bank account number wrong in the system. Well, that might explain it. Yeah. Whoopsies. <laughs> So that should explain why the direct deposit didn't go through. Okay, no worries. So it should go through now, right? That is correct. However, it's not going to process until the next time we get paid since paychecks already did go out for this week. Okay, when's the next time we get paid? Two weeks from today. Can't you just write me a check? Uh, no. You see, it's not letting me since you already hit direct deposit. It looks like I'm trying to pay you twice, so it's not letting me. I can't do it. Mm -mm. So I have to wait two more weeks for my first paycheck. Uh, correct, but it'll be a big one. Yeah, no, that'll that'll be great. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? With what? Well, it's just, you know, I was expecting to get paid today. Yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't have happened at all, though. Yeah. Okay, well, you have a nice day, sweetheart. Great. Are you open? Yep, you ready to check out? No, I'm wondering if the store is open. Yep, the open sign's on the door. <laughs> well, I'm just asking because I tried to come yesterday, but you guys were closed. Oh, yeah, we were closed for the holiday. Hmm, must be nice. Yeah, it was. Were you ready to check out? Not really sure. I wanted to buy something yesterday, but you guys weren't open. Okay, well, you're welcome to buy it now. Well, honey, this is the consequence of not being open and available to your customers on regular business hours, because now I don't want to buy anything. Well, we also have our online shop, and you can access that 24-7. No, 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 that was closed too. 
the website? Yes, I tried to go on there and it said no internet connection. Right, okay, well, I'm sorry about that. If so, how are you gonna make it up to me? I can check you out right now. Well, can't you apply an inconvenience discount? No. So you're just willing to lose my business? Yes. Listen, I know things have been hard. You just have to remember that there's always gonna be another mountain and you're always gonna wanna make it move. Wait, it's just always gonna be an uphill battle and sometimes you're gonna have to lose and it's not about how fast you get there. It's not about what's waiting on the other side because it's the climb. Climb, wow. How did you know I was gonna say that? Yeah, no, I've, I've heard that song before. <laughs> what song? The Climb? Um, not familiar with that. Oh, really? Because you just quoted it word for word. No, that's just something that my great-grandmother used to tell me all the time, so no. Uh-huh, well, thanks for the advice. And just remember, nobody's perfect. Yeah. And you never know, maybe he could be the one. Yeah, and maybe I'll get the best of both worlds. <laughs> what? I thought we were quoting Miley Cyrus. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> <laughs>